I guess we'll get this show started. Testing out the acoustic. Testing out the acoustic is what Bear said. He's testing, testing, testing it out. Testing, testing, testing it out. Out, ah, 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 <laughs> Hello and welcome to Never Game Over Podcast, Florida's number one <laughs> gaming podcast uploaded on Sundays. I'm your lovely, cool, amazing, cool host, me, Bryce Armour, and I got my mm-hmm. amazing co-host right here with me, Bears. We're going to do the fusion. fusion Check out the dance. video. Mm-hmm. Boom. Check out the Sorry, video cool. version as per usual. Gibby is not with us, but he will crash the party later mm-hmm. on. We have a fantastic show for you. We got Weathering Waves, Mario, A Thousand Doors. It's, it's what it's called, right? The Thousand Year Door. A thousand Year Mario. Door. Yeah. I've been playing the beta for 33 Immortals, and I did say Weathering Waves, right? I did. I did say that. Yeah, already. yeah. I did. did. Okay, that. cool. Yeah, yeah. And State of Play and some other fantastic news. We got a grand, awesome show for yeah. y'all, guys. Woo! Man. I mean, don't we always? I feel Don't like we I feel like we yeah. I we not I we mm-hmm. always put on a grand show even when there's not a lot of news even there there yeah. is a lot of news even when it's Gibby, banger after banger I man. feel like it's banger after banger honestly yeah, I don't yeah. I don't feel like we ever put out a, a dud episode you know I always mm-hmm. try to find something to talk about or 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 some conversation or some little mini event for us uh, to yeah. to present to the pod I don't think we have any dubs honestly I I I, mm-hmm. I really don't think so I would say yeah. my uh, the the first like one through 20 episodes yeah. duds trash hey, it's it starting I, off <laughs> it was starting off you know i know they're trash i was re-watching them i think i said this on the last pod i was re-watching them a couple weeks ago or so and i was yeah. like mm, 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 mm. lighting yeah. lighting is trash audio's trash it was mm. fucking horrible but we pulled through we pulled through and i told yeah. and i told gibby i was like yo those first 20 episodes bro you Garbage. gotta be proud of it, though. Absolutely. Oh yeah, it's, it's yeah because it's just a starting point. It's like what you began with and where you're at now. And that's why I really like looking at it is because I was like, man, we went from this trash, sure studio or you went my to room, basically a uh, ghost video potato quality to high definition. That's what you went from. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you watch ghost videos. I do, but you got the potato quality ones that looks uh. like it was picked up in the 90s <laughs> <laughs> and then you got you got the new and improved you got the 2024 you know right? yeah that's what you're wearing okay okay so just i don't know what you're wearing <laughs> wearing no what year we're in. oh oh it was yeah geez no I, no i don't know what you're wearing now oh tw- no no know. yeah we're in 2024 yeah we are yeah uh yeah, like I said, Gibby will join us shortly. Um, yeah, and go from there. Uh, where do you want to start? You've been playing a lot of video games, a lot, yeah. a lot. Yeah. Uh, all us- right, so I'll start off with uh, Animal Well. Right. Mm-hmm. I gave it three hours of my life. Okay. And you, you know, um, the art style for me wasn't. Uh, I don't know. It, it wasn't too over the top because I've seen that art style before, like how they make the creatures try to make them look all creepy. I can't remember what game it is, but it's a horror game. And it's like you walk around as a youngling and there's a rabbit after you. You know, uh, that's what it reminded me of. And yeah, I don't I don't know. I felt res- uh, I felt like I was playing a restricted Metroid, though. You know, to whoever likes it, like props to you. you know? mm. Yeah, enjoy it. Um, and then from there, after playing that, I was just kind of bummed out that I didn't enjoy the experience. So I was like, hey, Dave, the diver's free. Let oh, me play that. I guess, uh, why else didn't you like? Because I, I beat and played Animal Well. I'm not going to. I don't. The fighting for me was just very. Eh, didn't felt like non existent. And then I had to use a, a weird freaking bubble rod just to jump places. And yeah. that was the most irritating part for me. Mm-hmm. Because I don't know, the slime that you are is like slides a lot. Like it, it takes a bit to finally just get get it right, and then if you do, it's like, all right, let's do that three more times, 
just to get off of this screen. So it was a lot of that that I was just like, no, I'm no, I can't. I guess I just can't. I guess what I, I don't know. I guess I got off that high of playing Tunic and I was trying to compare this game like Tunic, which was a bad thing to do. Uh, but mm-hmm. reading Tunic's amazing. Yeah. Reading <laughs> the the comments, comments and mm-hmm. how people talked about this game uh, made it seem like it was up to par. It, 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 it still is. I still thoroughly enjoy this game like crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, we, uh, we mm. not we other people were talking about how in depth this game and it, it still is in depth and like crazy. Uh, it, damn, I don't, I lost my train of thought. Shit. I don't know. You're where I'm going. good. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this. Never mind. Disregard that. Okay. Disregard no, that. Uh, but yeah, I don't. Uh, not for me. Not my cup of whiskey. So you know. Mm. I still. I, I don't know. I still like the game. I've done a couple yeah. of streams. Uh, check out the the videos I've done so far. Uh, I I I am still trying to do those like puzzles. I know there is more. Um, stuff to do because i'm at the end game part of it yeah. and, and i looked up like hey what else should i do like what's the end game here and someone like on reddit shout out to reddit was like hey this is your goal try to figure this out i'm sure you'll you will come across some other things just mm. as well but this is like your main end game goal and i'm like right as of right now i have almost the entire map completed yeah. um it's just there's just some nooks and cranny places i need to i need to get real quick well not real quick but yeah. i need to figure out uh, there's some other puzzle elements um there's some other puzzle stuff uh that i need to figure out if i can't get it i can't get it it is what it is i'll probably just look it up but as of right now i'm trying yeah. to just sure mildly complete uh trying to complete some other stuff so i can uh, yeah. uh, uh get it but i don't know it's a cool game it's kind of a little bummer that you kind of disliked it like you put three hours into it, which is a fair. It is a fair. Uh, yeah, I think that's a fair amount. Oh, of time. absolutely. Yeah, a, a fair yeah. shot of uh, of playing it. Um, because if you would have played an hour, I'm like, oh, it's not really giving it a really shot. But you give it three no, hours. No, so, yeah, but I, I gave it three. Yeah, and yeah. I was just like, I tried. Mm-hmm. That's, no, that's all I went with. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess the combat aspect, like I didn't really mind those types of the tools that they. Mm-hmm. that they give you um it is a little yeah. annoying so you're not really fighting anything yeah. sure again not trying to compare tunic but unlike yeah. tunic uh you're mostly sure running away from things or dismantling Using their them. attacks to get you to from point a yeah to point it's, a. it's 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 i still think this is a cool game it's on playstation plus right now guys it's 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 24 bucks it's still a fantastic game i still throw it like for me, so. yeah, yeah it's it definitely free on the playstation playstation uh store so i would still advise people at least check it out um yeah. I, again I, I i i didn't really set myself up for failure Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, for for after playing Tunic, which is a phenomenal game, like crazy. So I tried like comparing it, but nothing will ever compare Tunic until like something uh, Tunic Two yeah. comes out or like some other grand crazy game uh, oh, that will I probably talk about Tunic that will come out. Because since the last part, I didn't talk about that. I beat it, right? Tunic that I got different from you. I didn't have to fight somebody for in Tunic. Didn't have to fight someone. Uh huh. I don't know. Is it's still like spoiler territory, isn't it? I don't know who you. You didn't have to fight someone. Yeah. I don't know who. The last. You didn't have to fight the person. No. Nope. What? It's on stream. Yeah, I didn't fight them. Huh. Yeah, I and I got the credits and everything. Credits were all nice and cute and everything like that. And I was like, huh. <laughs> all right then. <clears throat> that's mm-hmm, mm-hmm. okay i gotta check out your stream huh yeah yeah interesting that, that was uh that was my end and then um off screen i went back and i'm like well how do i do this and if you just smack them it initiates it and i see what you were talking about screw that fight because you just you just gotta smack them that's it that'll start it for tunic yeah tunic yeah if you smack them, you start the fight. What? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so I gave them something. 
that. Okay. You know? And instead of a fight happening, it just kind of re kind of removed the veil that they had on them. And then you find out who they are, which is adorable. And, uh, you know, then you get the credits and everything like that. So I was like trying to figure out, like, how do I initiate this? So I was just running around the entire map of that area trying to figure out. And then I just smacked him. And then that initiates the fight. So then I got both endings. I didn't know that. Yeah. Still figuring things yeah, out about this that game. That fight was uh, crazy. It was annoying. It took me. Th- it took me three tries just to finally get it. Watch that stream. It took me forever. It yeah. Took me forever. To oh do yeah, it. I know. <laughs> but I did that off stream because I was cursing up a storm. Same. Like I was close to the point of throwing my controller. That's how hard it was. So you know. Yeah, I was. Yeah. I was having a, a not so fun time. And now, so that was on me on stream. I was like, oh my! I was like, I need a break. I need to take a break, and I did, and came back and messed them up so there you go hey yeah but uh yeah check it out you sleep um yeah so then i tried dave the diver yeah yes yeah i don't know what it is about the game i started playing it i'm like this is stupid i gotta shoot fish with a harpoon to catch them because my friend decided to take me out of retirement and dave's an adorable chunky dude you know and what is Dave? And I've I've seen Dave the Diver. Like, what is that? It's it's a it's a ship game, right? Sort of. So it's basically like a fishing. Uh, it's like it could be a mobile game. Right? Mm-hmm. Is all you do is you get up in the morning, you go dive, you catch a bunch of stuff until you uh reach a weight limit. But luckily, like, even though you hit that weight limit, you can go a little bit over. Just know you're going to be moving slower in the water. Okay. You know, and you can go against a bunch of different fish. You can take pictures of the fish if you're prompted to and all this other stuff, right? And then you come back up and all the fish is sent to the sushi bar, right? Are you following me? All right, cool. So in the afternoon, you can go again. You, you can see if you can get deeper and whatnot. And obviously for all the... All the fish you catch is more more ingredients for the sushi bar, right? So after that is then it's nighttime when you come back up the second time, and you got to go to the sushi restaurant and you can upgrade your dishes, you know, using certain ingredients. The cut scenes for these upgrades for these signature dishes you make are hilarious. Like I was just nonstop laughing and loving it. And you get to feed a cat. Who doesn't like feeding a cat? Okay. You know, and Momo's got some secrets. So, you know, if you do decide to play, like, feed Momo a lot, you'll see. Okay. Noted. And they have some little tropes in there. There's uh, King of Fighters tropes. There is uh, Metal Gear Solid tropes in that game. They have a lot of little Easter eggs that I found super adorable. And uh, those are just two. What was the Metal Gear Solid out of curiosity? Because it's... it's... Nope. Okay. Don't want to spoil it. All right, never mind. Don't want to spoil it. Okay, okay. It is too... Amazing okay. for me, and they even had the sound of the you know getting spotted. But <laughs> all right, um, even better. Yeah. Um. So what you do at night is you start running the sushi restaurant. You got Boncho. He's handling cutting up everything. You got grab the dishes, but you know you chunky dude. You can't run, so you got a stamina bar and you got to refill the wasabi. You got so much stuff to do, right? And that's just that's just the beginning. Wait till you start hiring people. Wait till you start. A farm, a fish farm, which is basically like you catch fish and you start breeding them so then you don't have to go diving all the time. Okay. It's a lot. And then they released a DLC. Like Godzilla. For Godzilla. Yeah, yeah. And it was amazing. Short-lived, very short, but still amazing because I got to fight as Godzilla. No shit. Come on. It's amazing. Amazing. So, yeah, I enjoyed that game. I just recently beat it. But there's still other things to do. I need to get my restaurant to diamond rate ranking. And, you know, it's just like, it's a nice thing to kind of just, <clears throat> it feels different mm-hmm. for me. And the only reason why I say for me is because I'm quite sure there's other games out there that are kind of like it, you know. But for me, it felt different mm-hmm. from uh, the regular games I play. Okay. So I enjoyed it. Okay. And it's super cute. They have so many cutscenes. There's even a Dragon Ball Z esque cutscene, which okay. was ridiculously. <laughs> this game funny. is like very pop culture. Yeah. So I actually um 
I did little snippet clips because uh, my friend Josh kept asking me about the game, and I was like, oh, and he tried it. He said it's not for me, and he was just like, but, you know, I'm curious about the cutscenes. So usually when those cutscenes happened, I'll record, like, little clips and send it to him and just mm. be like, so this is what happened with this. And he's like, dude, that game's too funny. And I'm like, right? It's it's good. Like, I get it. It's not your play style, yeah. but it's good. You know, so, yeah. And it's I think it's still free on PlayStation, right? We haven't hit the new month. No, not yet. It's still, I've, I've seen it on there. So it's still up for grabs. Is the DLC the way, included? DLC is free. Perfect. It's That's not cool. all bundled up together. Yeah, yeah. You have to pick it yourself, but okay. it is free. <clears throat> okay, cool. Oh man, that yeah. sounds that sounds pretty cool. Because I've seen people talk about Dave the Diver from time to time. Got presented at Nintendo, uh, mm-hmm. not too long ago, I believe, or yeah. or I think it was, <clears throat> or I think it was one of the PlayStation. Uh, events yeah. that talk about the DLC. It was one of those two. I was like, oh, the game seems pretty cool. Didn't seem yeah. like it was for me, but it's free. Sure, might as well check it out. My, like, It was like a team of 20, I think. Okay. Damn. That nice. worked on it. Okay, small indie studio. Yeah. Very and, small. And the reason why I am I know that number is the credit scene is you are in space and you have to blast all the developers and I believe there's 20. There might be a little bit more than 20, mm. but around there. Okay. But it's within the 20s. Um, I really appreciated it. That's like, cool. That sounds cool. It's definitely a game that switches your mind off from like other games and whatnot. Yeah. There was some frustrations, but it's also of that like those frustrations were, oh, I could have approached that differently. Things yeah. Things like that. And, you know, there's, uh, there's not a lot of uh, penalties for failing. Okay. It's a very yeah. nice, lighthearted game, how you're speaking yeah. about this game. That's cool. Yeah. That's real it, cool. It, yeah. <clears throat> um, That's awesome. Let's see. What else is there? Uh, and then, yeah, Paper Mario. Thousand Year Door remake. Um, All right. Before you get started, we're going to take a little yeah. quick break because I got to use a bathroom real quick. Go for so it. we yeah. will be, we'll be right back. Right back. Cause I mm-hmm. drank some coffee and I'm still drinking mine. I got, I got to go. I so probably take that chance. Yeah. Yeah. We'll take you can a pause it. No, we'll keep it recording. I'll just cut this part out, but we'll be right back. <laughs> well, okay. All right. Yeah. All right. I'm going to do the same then. And we're back. Okay. We got, our, we, I got our food, food, not our food. We got our fluids. We drained what we needed to drain. Mario, yeah. paper, Mario. Give it yeah, to me. Thousand year door. In the thousand it's, year uh, door. What is what it's is definitely nostalgic? What is different? What is improvements? Is it still the same? Like what's the let's go. Compare. So story wise, still the same. Okay. The dialogue has been changed in certain places. They kind of made it um obvious as to a certain character and what they are. They made it obvious because people didn't catch that Lord knows how many years ago. Hmm. And, you know, people are just posting about it today. And I'm like, yeah, like Nintendo made that announcement years ago. Like, what are you updating? Like they said, yeah, it's a thing. Mm. Why are you saying, oh, it's official? Like, no, it's it's been official. Shut up. Stop writing video. By the way, can I, I'm going to just get a little side tangent. Here we Won't go. be long. Promise. Okay. Um, I'm thinking about becoming a video game blogger because okay. these idiots write things that are decades old. Okay. That's all I have to say. Okay. So you, you want to enjoying certain you posts wanna, about people. You want to spew out bullshit. Yeah, I want to spew it. out information that's already out there, but pretend it's news. Got it. Know? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh. There's a side tangent that I also want to tell you about, but that cannot be on the pod because that is very sensitive. Okay. Off mic. But. Anyway, um, yeah, so fun game. They added a bunch of new stuff, like a bunch of side missions and things like that. So it's like, you know, keeps time occupied because I am almost about to hit 24 hours of the game and I'm almost done. Okay. Yeah, it's a pretty quick game once you know, if you know what you're doing, if you have no idea at all, like. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. What type of game is this like a a turn based game just as well? Like RPG? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You get one teammate. Uh, you get other party members, but you mm. switch them out and whatnot. And that uses up a turn. But um, yeah, super fun game. They changed a lot of the dialogue because I don't I don't know a nice way to put it. Okay. Yeah, but you know who you are. Okay. So 
Yeah. Um, yeah. So they change the dialogue a lot because people are, I guess, overly sensitive, but it takes some of the humor out of the game mm -hmm. because at least from what I remember it <clears throat> and watching like playthroughs of it, of other people playing it because I lent the disc out my GameCube disc to somebody. And when I got it back, it was completely destroyed. Damn. And I could not find it at any GameStop. So I was just like, I guess this dream is dead. Damn. I wish they had an option in the game where you can keep the original dialogue. Uh, it's like and switch, switch back and forth. Yeah. yeah. I wish they had that option, but it had a lot of dark humor and it was good. And now it's just kind of like when it comes to their new jokes, trying to adapt to that, it's kind of like a swing and a miss. Mm, okay. Yeah. It's not in that sense as funny but the game's still good and like everything's pretty great and i got the yoshi that i wanted so i'm happy about that no yeah because uh apparently that's based on a time like from when you get the egg uh -huh. to when it hatches determines what color it's gonna be that's pretty cool that's a small and, very small detail yeah. that's cool so like yeah, the, what if you're really slow like, like if you're really slow so like with the it's, tier list there we go uh, so basically the tier list is, I believe it's green, yellow, blue, pink, black, then white. Okay. And when I was younger, I didn't know this. Oh, and red is also somewhere in there. Okay. Sorry. Um, and it goes based off of certain minutes because it was an RPG and there was so many secrets. And one of the things I do enjoy is finding secrets. I never true. looked it up when I was younger, as well as, you know, those were during the age where we were just coming out of dial up. You know, <laughs> yeah, you know, most people won't know what that is. <laughs> Our demo should be know. Our demo should Yeah, know. yeah, yeah. Um, so I would never look it up. And I, I was always just like astounded by like every time I played what color I'd gotten, but I had never gotten black. And I was so happy about that this time. Black is the and slowest, I'm assuming. No, uh, well, kind of. White is the slowest. It's more like you elongate it because of what color you want. Gotcha. You know, so I never knew that that was a thing. And I looked it up afterwards because I was just like, why have I never gotten the same color Yoshi? Mm -hmm. And then I saw the colors and they're like, oh, you have 20 minutes in between. Oh, and each interval, okay. like I think okay. it's zero to five, gives you one color and then five to ten or it's five to nine, something like that. Just um, there's a bunch of different colors. And yeah, I was super happy about that. I'm like, all right. Yay. And my Mario's dressed up as Wario right now. Wow. Ah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I've been enjoying the game. Mm. I love the shit out of it. It's great. I'm doing way better than I did when I was younger. That's for certain. Of, of course. Yeah. <clears throat> as well as um, I'm, I'm not happy about it, but I also understand it because people do get stuck. Is now if you press uh, ZL, uh, yeah. it gives you a hint. Be like, hey, maybe we should go this way or maybe we should okay. talk to this person. You know, but it's also like, you know, it's an RPG. Like, you kind of get lost in the mix and everything like that. How uh, How is the, sure, world, is it is it like a, is it linear or is it actually it's open? It's pretty much linear. Okay. Yeah, it's a linear open world. I guess that's the term. Yeah. Uh, okay. Like, sure, Mario yeah. Odyssey and Kirby. Like, those are yeah linear open world-ish mm -hmm. levels. Yeah, but good game. That's cool, I'll man. That's dope. Yeah. Cool, man. Mario. I, I, I totally forgot that dropped. Totally forgot that dropped along with like Princess Peach. So did Peach. the internet. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, yeah. The Peach game, right? Yeah, Peach game. That, that looked pretty fire, too. I wanted to check that out. Uh, mm. Totally forgot about it. And other things have been coming on. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anything else you've been playing, man? Trying to think, trying to think, trying to think. If not, you don't got You can come back to oh. it later. Yeah, I know. Uh, one thing that I'm really not proud of is... um. I do a lot of walking, you know, okay. uh, and uh, sometimes it's just to uh, when we're driving in the van, I got nothing to do. So I can't. Last time I played it was when it was first released and I'm like, this is stupid. And now I'm, I'm doing it again. And it's just like Pokemon Go. Yeah, my group chat's been popping off with that lately. Yeah, I've been doing that. And I'm just like, uh, this is what has become of me. Why'd you get back but, in? What, what happened? Like, what got you back well, in? Uh, it's it's honestly because uh, with certain games, uh, mobile games that I've been playing, is uh, so when it comes to the Pokemon trading card game, 
I have to wait for those daily updates because I don't want to keep playing it nonstop and I get bored of it, you know? So wait for those daily updates to get the, you know, certain challenges you got to do, which is usually just two. Um, and then the other mobile game that I play, it's like, you know, I do all the dailies in the morning when I wake up and I'm getting ready for work. And I got to wait for everything, like, you know, the whole dispatches and everything like that to kind of finish. And that takes like up to eight hours. So I'm like, oh, okay, when I'm done with work, that's when it'll be done. So I have nothing to do in between. And honestly, like, you know, why not Pokemon Go? Was I tried st- Monster Hunter now. Eh, that was okay. I played a little eh, bit. Yeah, yeah it exactly. Was, it, was, eh. it was okay. It was, eh, <laughs> yeah. this, this is all right. Not the greatest, yeah. not the worst. I was like, this is okay. I'll say mm-hmm. it's better than the Pikmin. There you go. I never tried the Pikmin, and I probably won't. That was that was one bandwagon no, I could no never get one, behind. No one is going to play that one. <clears throat> cool. <laughs> Nintendo went hard on that. I'm like, bro, no, I'm telling you, for a, yeah. a Nintendo person, I did try Pokemon Cafe for a bit. That's a, that's people love that game. I, know, I I got bored of it. I was honestly just trying to get the Hisu and Typhlosion from the special event, you know, without putting money into the game to actually do it. And I did. And then afterwards, I'm like, all right, I'm good. <laughs> like, I don't want to play this anymore. That's what's uh, up. Uh, yeah, that's about it. That's yeah, yeah, that's it. It's all the goodies. I don't bring my Switch with me. Yeah, that's what's cool, yeah, man. Good. Cool, good yeah. games, good games. I what about you? have been playing or getting ready mm-hmm. a little bit of a Destiny, clearing out the vault, getting rid of some right. bullshit, getting rid of some like. I, I was watching a video saying like, "Hey, man, just get rid of it. You're just holding on to." He he broke this person broke it down really really well. I was like, you know what? You're fucking right. Let me just get rid of this bullshit. And yeah. I got rid of some guns that were bullshit. Look at just look at I don't know why I had like some of the rolls on them were like fucking trash. I'm like, why did I have this? Mm-hmm. Like it was really bad. So I'm up to it's because it was the meta during the time. Those shit rolls were actually probably, broken rolls. Probably. Uh but that mm-hmm. is like I can't I I had a lot of um this will refill your 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 ammo. I'm like I don't care we don't carry ammo like anymore. So like what's the yeah, yeah. like what's the point? You so don't need those anymore. Yeah. So like it was it was a lot of those type of weapons I had so I just got rid of them and along with some other stuff. Along with like I had like duplicates of like exotic weapons and the dude was like if you have you you should really get rid of those if you're not really using them. like what's the point? You're just having up storage space. I was like oh shit, you're you're right. Um yeah. I don't know. I just watched this. It was like a nice 16 minute video that the dude just broke down. I forgot the gentleman's name, but he broke it down thoroughly for, for I, which I understood. Um, yeah. his, his criteria was different from my criteria because he's a speed runner for destiny. So like he, his list was kind of different from mine. It's like, okay, we're totally different, but he's like, you, you, you make a criteria that you want. And it, what it boiled down to was just like, uh, uh, the weapons that you use like are you really gonna use like those exotic are you really gonna use this weapon really you know like are you really a fan of uh yeah. shotguns <clears throat> rocket launchers xyz i was like you know what you're kind of right i don't really use that much rocket launchers mm. or um or uh grenade launchers so i started getting rid of those a little bit i kept some of them yeah, I, I use more uh Kind of more of machine guns and linear fusion rifles, like for heavy yeah, weapons. Yeah. Those ones are fire for for me um, and what my sure build is and stuff like that. So I've been playing some of that. Um, I tried playing the latest season and I was like, you know what? I'm not going to fucking grind. Like, I'm good. <laughs> like, what's the point? Like, well, yeah, of course you're good. Like, they still haven't brought up the light level, right? Yeah. So I was like, what's like, yeah, I'm not so going to. No yeah. You know? So I, at the same time, like, I it's wasn't more gonna, trash for your vault. Exactly. So I wasn't going to like go crazy. Like, get me these uh, weapons because they're going to raise the level cap. So like, I'm not going to. There's no point of infusion at this point uh to get my light level up because i'm already at peak so like i just stopped uh so i just been playing some onslaught a little bit more more or less just been cleaning out my vault and just getting like uh ready for the the last expansion so sure quote unquote last expansion so i've been having fun with that uh but just i just been logging in and just trying to just decipher or not decipher just get rid of some stuff like a lot of it so i got rid of like i said like i'm down to like three pages uh and that's been sure fun for me for the most part yeah uh, organizing organi- yeah. there we go i was doing a lot yeah. of organization I think, I think what destiny should do at this point and you know it's only because it's like an online service game mm-hmm. give us login rewards 
<laughs> sure. Like no, at this point, at this like point, yeah. you you might as well and like daily challenges and shit like that because like I I don't I don't at least on my end the people that I would do run raids with and whatnot that granted met on LFG and they're actually pretty cool and whatnot mm-hmm. they even hit me with the same thing they're like I'm just I'm just waiting honestly I'm hoping when it's released they give a discount for the DLC. But they probably won't, so I'll wait till that happens, and then I'll be back on it. Because, like, the hype's always been there. Yeah, of course. You know, when a new DLC is coming out... Oh, yeah, absolutely. There's always a hype behind it. And it's just... That hype is gone for some. Where it's just like, you I, know, everybody's like, oh, I gotta jump on it. Some. Like yeah, I said, it's, not uh, the majority. I would say... After, like, people were really excited about Lightfall. Like, people were really, really excited. And then... I had no history with Lightfall. And then, um, with this upcoming DLC, I've seen mild. Like, they announced it. People were like, whatever, bro. And then mm-hmm. we saw... Then, we, then they started talking about it a little bit more, but we were still like, whatever, bro. Yeah, we, we know of its existence. Thank you. Yeah, and <laughs> then they showed, like, gameplay and stuff like that. They're like, okay, this is kind of... Like, it's, it's, it's slowly getting to... People are... People are still excited, but they weren't as excited compared to Lightfall and those past expansions. Like, yeah. this is the, like, sure, weakest I've seen. People are excited, but they're not as excited as yeah. it, 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 it. Like, when Destiny drops an expansion, fucking the world stops. Like, oh, fuck. Dude, every video game's like, fuck you. I, I gotta play this. Now yeah, my phone would blow up. Yeah. Because uh, of that. Like, everybody would be hitting me up. They'll be getting on. Uh, and it's like, now it's just like, uh, yeah. what's it called? I don't get those text messages anymore. I get, how are you doing? There you go. How's your day? That's an and improvement. Go, hey, thank you. That's an improvement. Yeah, right? That's an improvement. Yeah. Uh, but I, 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 I'm excited. After watching, what is it? Those uh, development stories that they put out on YouTube, like part one and two. I was like, okay, this is pretty cool. And then mm. watching the final like launch trailer, I was like, all right. I am excited. The internet is like, they're still indifferent. There are still some people that are still yeah. excited. And so some people are like, eh. I like my hair. Won't, won't I know you've been messing with it. Like yeah. if watch a video version. You get to see bears <laughs> mess with his hair. Like from yeah, the start, I don't have a hat today. From like, the start fucking... of the pod until now. It's been like an hour. He's just I don't been have a hat today. flipping his hair like crazy back and forth. So it's been really funny. I didn't want to call you out, but no, no, you, to... I'm calling myself out. on that <laughs> shit. But it's, it's pissing me off and I don't have a hat and fucking, I have a hat, but I'm just like, no, I don't want to do a hat today because I got to save it for the news hat. So smart. Um, yeah. yeah, just organizing Destiny. Then I played uh, some Weathering Waves. Mm-hmm. Uh, another cool, Tell us about that. cool, another cool gotcha game. Mm. Uh, it's, it's. I was mad. I was mad. Is it mobile? Yes, it's on mobile. It is on mobile. Uh, what are you playing? With? both i was playing i was playing a little bit on the mobile then i played on the pc cool it's a cool mm-hmm. gotcha game it's like genshin i wouldn't mm-hmm. know from a co-worker he was he's not a genshin defender but he was like this is like basically like genshin but not like better. most games yeah like and I, that's what i tried to say i was like isn't like most games like fucking like mm-hmm. like genshin like oh no i have amnesia oh my gosh you're the one okay like that's like tower fantasy star yeah. star link honkai rail um, um um what's the other one um i said tower fantasy there's another one uh i was playing like a bunch of them uh third impact like every okay. every gotcha that i've played has that fucking trope of like uh, yeah. you, oh you can't remember can't who remember you are, or, or, like, monsters never cry you know yeah like, you're you're the so one stupid. plaza plaza so i wasn't really hung Can up. we side tangent can we press charges against mobile games for luring us in with ads showing the how the game supposedly plays but actually fucking doesn't? There's a loss. There's some sort of lawsuit. Like whatever. There's I, I see what you're talking Somebody about. Many yes. of them show like 3D planes and uh-huh. whatnot, and they're like, "Oh, the game plays like this," and then you actually play it, and, and it's, it's like you, you click this, you, you click that. Uh huh. And then summon, and then it says like, oh, you know, uh, just for just for signing up, you get three thousand free summons, and you never see those three thousand free summons. You start doing the five-hour tutorial, and you completely forget about those three thousand summons. I, it's it, actually it's opposite for me. I've been seeing 
people give those sure three thousand summons or whatever, but the gameplay is not up to par for what it should be. The gameplay sucks. Yeah. yeah. So it's like yeah. you guys are falsely advertising, but at the same time, mm-hmm. you guys are fulfilling what you said. So like it's like it's a weird, interesting limbo. Like you can par- you can partially sue for either. them, but but not really. You know, it's like one I want to. Okay. I want to because so we can get it off the market. Okay. Yeah. There's enough shit on there. Yeah. But yeah. anyway, go on, go on, go on. Um, then I, oh yeah, well, Weathering Waves, it's, it's sure, it's a, it's a gotcha mobile PC game. Looks cool, beautiful. Uh, yeah. I streamed it for two hours. I was mm-hmm. thoroughly excited, or almost three hours. Mm-hmm. I was very excited, but, um, where I was at, I just, I should have got past the tutorial because all I was doing was just talking to people. And I was like, oh my God gosh mm-hmm. i just want to get to the combat so that was my fault i do want to get another shot but from what i played it seems pretty cool um cool combat it i guess i'm not trying to sell it short because it kind of does play like every gotcha or like genshin impact so it's it's solid so far but i want to give it another another try with it i haven't spent any money on it um obviously there's a fucking tr- money tree on there as per usual um it always is yeah. the only really gotcha game i'm like really actually looking forward to is this game called arc arc knights enfield like that one seems pretty stellar solid that one reminds i've, heard, I've seen like ads for arc knights but not the enfield so that, that one is the tower defense mobile one pretty cool solid it's a little too slow paced for me i don't I'm not a big fan of it i played a solid amount of it but it was okay um and then uh, I got to play the show, the alpha for Ark Knight's Enfield. And that uh, reminded me of uh, a, a, a Mass Effect slash like uh, Dragon Ooh. Age uh, combat. I was like, OK, this is really cool. Interesting. Like I really like for some reason, something spoke to me with that. Yeah. Like you're fighting combat and like switching characters in in between, which is pretty cool. Um, then switching yeah. back. Uh, uh, Weathering Waves has that, too. So like you have these special like meter that you're fighting boom 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 and then like use your special attack and does this really cool animation and just fucks them up like it's cool again i can't really speak about it too much because i spent oh i only played like two hours of it in the tutorial so like there's nothing much but for the most part it's it's an okay game and basically it's another gotcha Uh, like i said i'll i'll I'll, I'll, I'll give it another 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 shot Yeah, 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 yeah for sure um i'm not in a rush for it uh, really, but I do want to give it, ju- it its justice. There you go. Then I played uh, uh, 33 Immortals. That game is freaking rad. Holy what crap. 33 Immortals. 33 Immortals. Oh, is, yeah, that's right. Yeah, go on. 33 Immortals is a roguelike slash MMO slash battle royale. Oh, that's top, why I didn't hear of it. Top, top down or eagle eye view, like a not really like Diablo, but like like a tunic in a way, a little bit like that. That camera uh, yeah. a, a angle, at least. Um, in the beta, you have between a sword, a special, a sword, a specialist, basically a mage, um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. a rogue that has daggers and a bow each class excuse me each class plays different um yeah the only interesting one that i can think of or i know of because i played it the most is the specialist class the specialist class is your Mm -hmm. your mage so you can throw you can throw your magic boom 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 and if you hold x you can disperse it also i am playing on the pc there's a beta Mm -hmm. popping off with pc and xbox uh got linked into the uh uh, pc one so the interesting thing with the with the specialist is that if an enemy is in front of you i won't be able to hit them because i'm i'm a ranged character so i have to Um. i have to keep my distance and trying to attack them Mm -hmm. but if they're close by i can't do anything i have to run away so like the 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 i was gonna say the, the tank the rogue and the bow can all do close counters that 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 can hit the enemies i'm the yeah. only oddball that cannot do that so i found that mm. really i like that but at the same time i don't so i'm like really yeah. in between uh of uh, uh if they should change that or not i think at this point because i played i think that's the most class i played was that like yeah. a lot at this point at this I'm, point you kind of feel like just keep it just i think i think so i think just keep it in 
because you, you don't want to be too broken. Yeah, and you want the classes to feel different. So mm -hmm. I I've, I found that uh, I found that interesting. And uh, with the uh, oh, also is that you have this meter on the bottom left uh, corner that if you fill up, it's a special. So like mm -hmm. you hold you hold the right trigger and like you do this like little mini summon and it has these little icons on the on on the map or in your area. So if you get two more people, you can activate your special. And what my special does is it does this cool blast orb or blast mm -hmm. wave that uh, slows down the enemies. So that's pretty yeah. cool. Oh, and also um, when you press Y when you're attacking, again, you have your, your health and you have like a special meter on the bottom that every time I hit an enemy, my special meter fills up and I can slow them down. It does a little minor damage, but it slows them down so other people can, can uh, attack them quicker. Oh, so, man, yeah. so I'm more or less like a support Teamwork. class. Yeah, it's, yeah, dude, this game is like very much <clears throat> support. Like this is just like the, the, the base level. So yeah. the 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 tank has a big old sword just swinging away yeah. boom, 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 boom. and um his bottom meter is a guard meter so it fills up to 50 but every time you attack it fills it up fairly quickly so you can dodge mm. literally every attack doesn't matter what it is as long as you're fucking guarding you you're gonna block it and once you block it you do it, I feel like I was parrying, but I wasn't. <laughs> but mm. every time an enemy attacked, like you do this like a parry and it stuns them. So again, your homies can like fuck them up. So that's really yeah. cool. And his his little special is uh is he puts out shields for other people. So that's pretty nice. Mm. The bow um shoots out the bow, and then once you shoot him out, you can um call it back. Like that's your special. Call recalling in, recalling in your arrows is pretty cool. Um, and his special is, is, uh, uh, throwing out arrows, like a little, like a little, uh, circle and just goes in the, in the, in the center, the rogue, I don't know what the rogue does. And ro the rogue is interesting because each, each, uh, class has three people to activate each special. The rogue yeah. only needs one additional person to activate it. And I think that does more damage, I think. Oh, okay. So I found that really interesting um and the rogue is pretty cool because he he has uh oh also everyone has one dash you can do i wish i wish i wish the tank had two dashes and i wish mm. the rogue maybe had two dashes or maybe the rogue had two dashes and everyone else still has one but i wish there was another dash format um yeah but with the rogue you have um a quick like doing this little cool little and then um you can dash and like he can uh when you press y for your special attack or your heavy attack he leaps at them he's like ah like he's assassin's creed just jumping so that you can use that as a dash as well so yeah, those, sure, those okay. are like the base mechanics of this game so that's that's like this game's fucking awesome i really like this game a lot this game's fire mm -hmm. so um question yes when uh when you uh, you have HP, correct? Mm -hmm. So when it depletes, what happens? You die. So you have um, it does a Dark Souls. So it does a Dark Souls. Why things. do they say immortals? Because you are. You're mortal. No immortals. No, but you're mortal. You're, you can die. The the <laughs> gist of the. No, no, no! I was being an idiot. I it. know. The gist yeah. of the game. I forgot the reason I see you're going. Become immortal. You're, you're gonna become immortal. Like, yeah. So like you're this is your chance. Like you're you're immortal now, but here's your chance to become uh, a lot because you're like, like some demon creature or whatever. Like uh, oh, um oh yeah, also like everyone's is like it it, it it this game literally not literally looks like Hades, but it's inspired by Hades well, one and two. Like okay. you got your there's right, there, there is a Hades too, ain't there? Yeah, I keep forgetting about that. Uh, I don't know these characters, but it's definitely like it's not Hades pinpoint, but it's like, oh, there's they were inspired by this game, you know, it's just the characters, gotcha. character wise, is yeah. character wise. Um, and then so mm. once you get into the map, yes, boom. You have these like little Do you parachute in? No, you just you just you just spawn <laughs> in. It's not yeah. like it's really it, it really isn't like a battle royale, but there's a certain aspect of the game where it is like a battle royale game. So like um your objective is to 
level up, all right? You want to level up so you can fight the boss. So, and for you to go to the next stage, you have these little mini dungeons that that require six people each, and you gotta, mm-hmm. we have to defeat them. You have to defeat each one, and there's twelve of them. So you're rolling around the map, whatever. You, you, yeah. can, you can do solo dolo or not do solo dolo. And there's like there's some cool activities where it's like, hey, defeat this boss right here so you can get more gems or more bones. Gems is what you want to upgrade on your perk, your perk tree. Bones mm-hmm. is what you want to use to buy a teleporter to transfer to other people or to replenish your health for 25% or or buy a key and each mm. and each where you find those is um is at each dungeon location there's no health mm. any, anywhere else and you can only oh, okay. use you can only use the health once per location so you can't go back to the same one like yo it's done unless yeah. your other teammate has hasn't used it so and it's a it's a aoe heal to, to whoever's around so it's really gotcha, it's gotcha. really cool um so you're roaming around like doing these sure side your side missions like hey if you defeat this boss more gems more whatever whatever hey maybe it'll drop a perk that does 25 percent more damage or less yeah. damage so i'm like all right cool and it got me kind of thinking is like all right if you have a, a nice, decent build, you your character would want to stay out in the open world to level mm-hmm. up as quick as possible. Yeah, when you and uh, so you yeah you want to do that just level up depending on your play style. If you want to roll with mm-hmm. the squad and take out the help them take out the dungeon, by all means. And the cool thing is, there's only six people allowed into the dungeons. That's it. No mm-hmm. more. No less. Well, you could do it with four people, but it's going to be a little bit harder to do. You would want you would like six people. So you go in this dungeon chamber or whatever, and it's just waves of enemies just coming at you. Just left, right, up, down. Like, what the fuck? In this small, condensed area. And you're like, what the fuck? How am I supposed to fight this? And at the same time, you have um, uh, uh, flames coming at you left and right. Not constantly, but it's like, hey, here's a burst of flame. A slow flame. You're like, oh shit, I see it, I see it. And you still get hit by it because you're in fucking mm-hmm. idiot because you're just trying to fight everything else. Um, yeah. There is also uh, a trap, not trap doors, but trap doors that will will uh, start up fire slowly. It's, it's not, yeah, yeah. not, when people think of trap doors, like a trap door, like falling through. Yeah, yeah, that's what, that's what I think. Um, Sorry. So then cool. there's that, and then there's no... There's no time meter mm-hmm. in the dungeon. It's just like clear out the waves. And like once you get w- once you see like these big bosses, like not Metagross Solid, big boss, but oh. like these. Bi- I know <laughs> yeah. okay. uh, these are uh, these these big. You had me yeah, and then you said not Metal Gear Solid. I, I'm I, like, I don't uh, want it. I, I always don't. say that joke doesn't matter. <laughs> I do it every time. Yeah. Every time I say big boss, I'm like not Metagross Solid. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's these uh, giant bosses that that are the end boss and and you just take them out so once you do that once you take out these these enemies uh mm-hmm. you get these rolls so it's like oh hey here's a 25 percent damage or here's less damage so like you kind of want to pick and choose if you want to go into the dungeon or not so if if you might be sure under leveled but you have these perks to justify justify it yeah. and, and, and be up there so you do that around the world i will say this game is annoying because people don't have self awareness. It's like, yo, because mm. I've I've sat there for mm. for a while. I'm like, yo, mm. I need people to come to the bottom left, check your fucking map, so we can move on to the next stage. But people, yeah. but people don't know. And I get it's a beta. Like even in the loading screen, it says like, hey, be sure to complete. X, Y, Z, X, Y, and Z. So yeah. you can go to the United States, but a lot of people don't have self awareness. And, and I get it. I'm not too mad about it. I would be. <laughs> it's a beta, but I wish yeah. once this game is fully reached, I wish people would have more self awareness of like yeah. where to where to go um and what to do next. Because I just see people on the map like looking around. And also at the same time, you can have these little icons that be like, Hey, come here. That will display when you're looking at your map. So you can be like, Oh shit, this guy needs help. Let me go to him. So mm-hmm. that's like my only gripe. I wish there was a chat you can do, but at the same time, I don't wish there was a chat. Cause that kind of defeats no, the no, purpose it, of this. That whole... kind of creates toxicity. Yeah. So that in a, in a game, 
so I, I do like them not having the ability to chat. Also, side note, mm -hmm. you can have uh, you can squad up with players, but only three people. No more. No more than three, because mm -hmm. you, you would think they're. Oh, I wonder if I get 33 uh, players. Let me let me just fucking mm -hmm. dominate through. And you probably could. Um, oh, yeah. So once you complete that part of the mm -hmm. of the aspect of exploring defeating enemies uh getting some good roles xyz then it's like hey go to these certain locations it's like a star location you have one here on the left hand side of the map one in the middle mm -hmm. and one on the right everyone needs to get in there if not you're fucked so i said okay let's go and i try to go where the most people are which is this is really interesting where um, also, this is the part I didn't know it was like a battle or like battle royale. I was like, oh, I'll get there when I get there. But the the map closes in or this this beam of light lava like mm. is like, yo, you need to go there. If not, you're going to get fucked. So I was like, oh, shit. So the I fog. ran get the fog. Just like we'll call it the fog. The fog, the fog will kill you. So mm -hmm. keep that in mind. So I ran to where all the homies were at in the middle and I was checking the map and I was like, oh, man. So like there's I had probably like. I probably had 16 people where I was at and then I probably there was probably like another 10 and then it was like mm. probably like three people like on the left hand side so I was like oh I was like oh shit they're gonna be fucked because they're gonna because when you do this last part of the map it's just fucking waves after waves after enemies big ones mm. small ones just like a lot I'm just like it is so chaotic like I I would just watch my YouTube video on it. it's it gets crazy like I was like I can't see where where I'm at like this is wild bro so it does that you kill everyone boom you ascend and I'm like all right bet this is you you ascend. yeah you ascend and the other homies ascend to and so the goal also is like you don't want you don't want anyone to die just as well because you want to have 33 people with you because at this oh, point you want that consistency at this point you mm -hmm. so i had 22 <clears throat> people with me and i was like oh i was like okay i this is my first time playing it's like okay i don't know where we're going next yeah. and then it comes to find out it's a it's a fucking boss that in boss game that in boss cutscene is fucking dope dog mm -hmm. i haven't seen anything like that before because like you're in the you're you, you see yourself in the bottom of the screen of, of the cutscene while the cutscene's happening in front of you you're like oh shit this is fucking fire bro Damn. um so the last boss is lucifer it's a three-headed devil okay this is the part where i really 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 like totally got destiny 2 vibes for sure like taken king type mm. shit fucking let, like let's fucking go like yeah. a lot of coordination so the the boss has three stages okay he's a three three headed it's like what you want to do is, is, is hit his heart so right when you start off fucking everyone just rushes to his heart just just starts fucking him up and then um he he does this slam down but you see the like the 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 red area like hey you better move mm -hmm. you'll get fucked and also this is where the tank comes into place because he can fucking block that shit no fucking problem blocks it and just can just consistently stay there so Ooh. you do that for a while and then yeah and then he's like all right here's my first form the first form is like he he, he roars ah i'm the devil ah, yeah. uh <clears throat> i'm cold ah mm -hmm. so his first form is or stage is like hey and, and you don't you don't know any of any of this i because i didn't know um but when you play this, it's like, hey, hit his shackles. His shackles are the weak point. You can hit him in the heart, mm -hmm. but it, but what I, from what I notice is it, it, it slowly heals up. So, I, so of course, you kind of want like some people still doing DPS, but at the same time, you would want most other people to hit his shackles. So, gotcha. so people are some people are hitting shackles, and like his he, his hands don't stay in the place. He moves around, so he'd be like, ah. Mm. He, he, he'd be like, ah, he, I'm moving my hand to my left, boom, and then he moves his hand to the right, or he'll move, move one hand and like he moves his hands around. So like you gotta yeah, like yeah, yeah. kind of move. And also he becomes a DJ. Yeah, he comes a DJ pre pretty much. He has turntables. Yeah. The music is blaring. Like it gets it mm -hmm. gets fucking crazy. The lights are just like holy shit. This game's you're crazy. Just waiting for that bass to drop. Just waiting for that bass to drop. That's where you're all waiting for. Once you, the once the bass drops, then we all you know hold hands and like bring down the spirit bomb. Then um. Yeah. Hell yeah, Kiritorium. <laughs> and then um and then all oh, at the same time, so he has a health meter that has like fucking 10 mini bars. So he has like a lot of health. And uh, underneath his health, he has this bar that's slowly rising up. That, you, that you don't want to have him rise up. Yeah. 
Because if you do, it's fucking wipe. Well, it's not really a wipe, but it's it's a, it's he does a lot of damage. It hurts. Yeah. It, oh, it, it it hurts. It hurts pretty much. So, and also, so okay, shackles. People DPS in the heart. People DPS in the shackles, and people also fighting the 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 enemy. So there's a there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of shit going 30, on. Thirty three. Yeah. Again, that's why you would <clears throat> you don't want people to die because the more people you have, the more easy it will be. So I had like twenty two people. And I'm like, okay, this, we can kind of do this. Then mm-hmm. um, so we, boom, shackles. He's like, oh no, I'm free. Ha <laughs> ha, jokes on you. And he's like, ah. And then uh, his next form was uh, 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 he was like, I'm gonna bring, I'm crying. Ha <laughs> ha. And he brings on these teardrops, and there's teardrops all all around the uh, the, the the map. Mm-hmm. And at the same yeah. time, the fucking map is icy. So like you're kind of slipping, <laughs> you're slipping and sliding. And I'm like, what the fuck is this, man? This is like. I'm already having a hard time trying to defeat this boss. I'm already having a hard Mm -hmm. time trying to defeat these enemies. And at the same time, if you want me to defeat these little fucking shack, uh, these little teardrops. And at the same time, I have this fucking meter. So there's a lot of fucking shit going on. And I, and me explaining it, there's no, there's not a lot of like numbers flying at you, but it's still easy, easy, able to obtain what's going on. It's just a lot thrown at you. And when you're first, yeah. when, I guess when you're first time playing, you kind of don't know. But since I played this game for like 10, 15 hours, I know what, oh, sure, mm-hmm. what I'm doing to an extent. Yeah, so yeah. you would want to destroy the teardrops so his uh, special doesn't go up. And also, if his special does go up, he does this crazy wave where they're, they're, um, there are icicles that pop up each side. But if you yeah. if you don't, if you defeat the stuff, then there's only certain icicles so you can stay in, in a certain area that doesn't do it, So which is really nice. So again, you're pretty much encouraged to try to defeat these enemies. So yeah. And then his last one, I forgot what his last, his last one was just like his, he, he summons these three tough enemies. So you want to take them out as quick as possible. And then, um, you just fuck up the boss and like that's about it so like this game is really cool like i immediately got like destiny 2 or just destiny vibe raid vibes just in general three yeah yeah i was like man this is really cool and like and that's where the beta end and i was like oh man like I, 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 like let me run this back again and it makes me wonder if they have other bosses lined up or it's i just hope so. i one. really hope i would so. hope so i yeah. would hope so bro because that was a really 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 cool boss i can only imagine what other type of boss they could possibly mm. have or mm. get or would want to do for future updates or possibly dlc yeah. or whatever like this game has so much potential like i mm. didn't have i didn't have to what's wait. it for it's for uh xbox and uh and on epic right now so i'm pretty sure it'll be on game pass like day one i'm really 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 yeah. hoping i'm hoping praying mm-hmm, to the video mm-hmm. game gods that they do a stealth drop be like yo guys it's out right now because summer game fest yeah. is popping off real soon so i'm hoping yeah, i'm yeah. Hope, fingers are crossed if not it is what it is fingers are crossed yeah. you always know there's also a chance they might just shut down the studio so uh th- this is this isn't the first party of microsoft so they're not they're there's publishing and that's about it so okay. they're, they're, yeah, we're, we're, trust right, me. Right, I, right, I looked right. it up. I was like, "Oh, you guys are good." All right, good, good, good. Because um, yeah. you don't want it to be like, "I'm so psyched for this game," and they're like, "Yeah, I guess what? No." You know, kind of like a a dragon training game. I don't know what it's called. But go on. Um, and then um, yeah, then I beat it, and then I just started playing like with some other classes. The tank is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. From again, how you can just block almost literally everything. I started to upgrade my perk tree because i have one perk that gives you me more damage another mm-hmm. one that gives me um more Less ex- damage no more xp oh. more more xp for for killing enemies so i can level up quicker and then i have mm. um some other perk so I, i'm trying to unlock mm-hmm. one more but that's going to cost a thousand gems so i just need to keep on and are these perks permanent these are permanent these are all permanent oh, like that's nice that's, that, nice. that's yeah. it so again the replay value is fairly extremely high so then there's uh there's 33 it's called uh inferno and then there's purgatory where instead of with 33 uh homies you have 22 homies and that's a little bit tougher so like you're you no, like difficulty level. you don't want anyone <clears throat> to die and i tried that out that one took a little mm. bit longer for people to log in for some odd reason yeah. Uh, but that I felt like that one's more, more. People know what they're doing. 
with that yep. one because since it's such a smaller pool of people be like all right hey this is try hard season it's try hard time not don't fuck up all right get yeah play your fucking class do what you need to fucking do let's go let's get it that that type of energy and then uh after the 22 one there's a 11 one which is like shit so yeah man this game is freaking awesome like i am enjoying the hell out of this game like crazy i might stream some more today Damn. or tomorrow the bit the beta is probably gonna uh, the beta, as of this recording the beta ends tomorrow so maybe i'll, I'll try stream one more time with it maybe yeah. one more we'll see but i, I, wanna... I was kind of checking to see if it was on steam oh uh, no, no no epic and uh xbox <clears throat> yeah that ain't happening for me uh <laughs> But that's what I've been playing like crazy. I, again, I like all the class. Oh, also, there, I'm pretty sure there are way more class classes because on the tombstone or when you watch the gameplay, you you see these like other tombstones. Other spots. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, there has to be a healer class. Like there has to be. That'd be cool if there yeah, was. Yeah, it's there probably has just because be. it's a beta. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping for a beta class. Maybe there's a there's a gun class. Maybe there's a shield class. Maybe there's like a another tank class. Like I'm. Um, how do you think there would be a mech class? A mech. No, because this is like all the, oh the aesthetic is like you're all in hell, by the way. So it, it, it's it's really cool. Like again, not like sure. So you don't think you don't think a robot did something wrong to end up in hell? No. Okay. Robots are pure. Pure good. Okay. <laughs> pure good. Robots okay. are pure good. <laughs> I'll, I'll buy that. <laughs> Uh, uh, that'd be cool if there's a mech class or some sort of robot class. Like I, they, they could throw anything at this game. Like mm -hmm. I'll be so down for it. Uh, of of just how cool. I don't know. I don't know. Just, I think I like this game a lot because it takes, uh, it's a co-op and we're doing like a, sure a raid like equivalent where you don't really need to yeah. to vocalize without someone being pissed off. Like oh you missed your you missed the fucking jump you piece of shit. Fuck yeah. you! And I'm like, bro. Now we gotta wait on Greg to catch like, up and whatnot. I was like, bro, this is like my second time, man. I haven't fucking played this. You fuck suck my dick. I'm like, bro. Mm. This is why I don't raid people like you. Yeah. <laughs> people, I'm like, what the yeah. fuck? Please, bro. Can we tone it down, man? Can we have fun? I'm trying to have fun. You're killing the vibe. God damn. Um. Anyway, I didn't have that experience <laughs> with me. Almost did. And I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, there's sometimes you get assholes on yeah. there, and then they want to go, and Katie, thanks for the dono, that's great, you know, all, nothing but love here on this channel, and it's just like, okay. <laughs> mm. But anyway, no, that sounds interesting, like, nah, if it comes on Steam, then I'll give it a shot, but yeah, aside dude, from that, a, nah. It's a cool game, I'm, I'm totally invested in this game like crazy, so I, I, I can't, I can't wait for it, so. Those are the games I've been playing, man, it's been, it's been, uh, really fun really 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 go, really, yeah. really fun so let's get huh? to what? some yeah. huh news let's go <laughs> just gotta get the hat just get the hat get the hat boy it's folks he's up here he's getting the hat guys he, he's got it let's get that let's get that Woo! news hat let's here go it is. all right here let's go it's a bucket hat Let's go. Let's, it's do, a let's bucket, do the news. It's a bucket Pikachu hat. Don't sell it short, Hell, please. Don't yeah. even. Don't ever do that again. It's please. even got ears. I let's do, let's do the news. again. I yep. usually try to get news for Mister yep. uh, Gibby Gibby Boy, but he's never. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's. I don't think he's coming. I don't think he's coming through. No, I don't think so. I, don't I was think looking at the time. I'm like, yeah. I don't I'm think like, he's, boy, ain't coming through. Ain't boy ain't coming, coming through. Coming through. It's all right. It's all good. Um, this one's pretty mm -hmm. interesting. Um, yep. Neil Druckmann says new night Naughty Dog get, new Naughty Dog title could redefine mainstream perspectives of gaming. The okay, CDO sure. parent company Sony <laughs> used a corporation strategy meeting Thursday to present. Presents its creative uh, entertainment vision, which describes as a long-term vision where it wants to be in 10 years with an eye towards the future and technology advances. In an, in an interview published to the Coincide uh, Today's event, Druckmann asked to share details about personal vision or dream projects we want to see released. Quote, I've been lucky to work with several dream uh, projects and currently excited about a new one, which is perhaps oh. the most thrilling yet, he said. End quote. Quote, there's growing appreciation for gaming that uh, transcends all age groups, unlike when I was growing up. This, shifts, uh, this shift is high, 
highlighted by our venture into television with The Last of Us, which I hoped would bridge the gap between games and non-gamers. Uh, the show success has spotlight gaming illustrates the rich immersive experiences it offers this vis uh, visibility excites me not only for our current project but the border potential of gaming to capitalize uh, capitalize of global uh, audience i'm eager to see how this new game uh, resonates especially following the success of the last of us as it could redefine mainstream perspective of gaming what do we think about that that's 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 a big I don't I don't know. I just thought about that they're talking all this hot shit and then it drops like coming to PlayStation and mobile. And you're like, oh, this is it. This is the game they were talking about. Last of Us Go. Yeah, yeah, some mobile <laughs> game. That redefines where you gotta cat where you gotta catch like a, a bloater and all this other stuff, and you're just like, Oh my god. Like this is what you got me hyped for because yeah. you're bridging the gap mm -hmm. like, i don't know that's yeah. like, like let's be real like let's i just started laughing at the thought of that that was it but neil Dur know. um neil directman let's let's call a spade a spade has has a fantastic record of 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 making great games like uncharted last of us one two say what you say mm -hmm. he his his track record if we're going by sales and whatever xyz reviews like yeah. he has been despite what everyone says on the internet like he, his track record is pretty has been pretty stellar him redefining that's fucking big but if if was yeah, if someone's gonna say that i guess it would want to be him you know i mean maybe i don't i don't i don't know the guy personally i don't, I don't know him either <laughs> <laughs> you know so i don't know if it's like one of those things that's Talking out uh, your ass type shit yeah it's it kind of feels like that it's like all right this is what you're saying mm. but i have to wait for the end product mm. i mean because that's going to determine whether or not you're on point with what you're saying yes or you're just spewing out shit yeah i, I think the only you person know? that kind of spews out shit but i i can only todd todd howard uh skyrim creator yep. like like mm -hmm. that 2011 e3 i was like oh shit he's talking up a fucking game like he he executed but after that i don't know he's he's been kind of talking out of his ass he was talking out of his ass a little bit with starfield i'm like this isn't yeah this isn't how you're envisioning dog this isn't this ain't it like i see what you were trying to go for but you didn't really execute yeah um and with and with neil i guess he did he did change sure no pun intended the game in a way to make immersive amazing in gameplay out of gameplay experiences type stuff and sure along with bringing non-gamers with the tv show if we want to count that as sure uh, immersive change i don't know that that could mean like literally oh well he's specifically talking about video games so never mind yeah I, but i mean i don't know because like all all it really was that separated Last of Us from a lot of games was the storytelling. Because yes. what they did mm -hmm. is they do what uh, movies, TV shows, and other games fail to do. They made you give a shit about the character. Yes, absolutely. They, yes. they did incredible story building where you're just like, you want them to have a good ending. You know, and even yeah. then they could just be like, fuck you at the end mm -hmm. and you get the worst absolute ending you could possibly get. And you go, are you, are you kidding me? But you still, get so upset yeah. because you're invested into the characters. Correct. And video games fail to do that sometimes. For a very long time. Uh, movies have continuously failed to do that as of late. And TV shows, kind of the same thing. It's like, all right, I don't give a shit about this guy. Like, you mm -hmm. kind of just made him a douche. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, in this, you understand why shit, what the hell was his name? Because it's been a while since I played Last of Us. Joel? Joel, yeah. You, He's a douche. Technically, yeah, he but is. He, he has reason to There's a reason why he's a, a dick. Douche. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you see, but he, you you resonate. There's certain things about him you resonate with. And same thing with Ellie, I believe. Yeah, was, Ellie. Right? Yeah. Like, like everyone. You, sorry, yeah. I'm going to cut you off. In, no, no, you're good. It just they did an incredible job with that. I still to this day do not agree with the events that took place in part two. I need to replay it. I need to see I if just, it changed my mind. I want to see if it changed my mind, but I, I just uh, I'm still very upset about really? okay. how everything played out. That, okay. That's about it. I, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll yeah. say um, um, everyone in The Last of Us is a piece of shit. Like oh, no, yeah. no one's a good person. If you really like if you really oh, boil yeah, it down, yeah. everyone is an asshole. But how Neil directed or made the world seem like this we know they're a piece of shit 
but there's like you pointed out there is a we reason we also know why why I'm like bam like you're a piece of shit but i see what you're doing but you shouldn't do that there's a better way to do it but fuck it's the end of the world i understand why you had to do xyz so yeah i guess he is a phenomenal writer i'm just yeah. curious how he's gonna well he's a director i don't know if excuse he me it. director he's a director he, he is a director and writer by Pretty sure okay. he wrote and directed both Last of Us Still, and everything came together amazingly. Of, yeah, That's of of, of him. Yeah. I could be told. I think you're correct. He is just a director. He didn't really write. Yeah. Like, okay. But yep. uh, the director does kind of like help with the execution. Yes. Yes. Of it, and it phenomenal. Like yes, you know, he is a director. I, I watched the documentary. Yes, you are correct. Yeah. You are correct. My bad. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, uh, no, had, no, you're good. He had female writers. I remember. Okay, yeah, that doc. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a He just put. He he'll he'll be like, hey, that's good shit. Yeah. Do do like do the write write this. Yeah, you know, he basically, st- yeah. yeah, yeah. He's just you know brings everything together, mm-hmm. and it came out phenomenal. Like I'm not gonna deny that at all. Like it was amazing. Mm. I cried from that video game because fucking emotional shit. <laughs> emotional well, damage. That's right. That's a thing. I forgot. Was is is was, is, is. It's still still. I mean, it hasn't gone away. It's still <laughs> it's still here. <laughs> I mean, that's the first time I heard it in a year. I think. Oh, uh, I, I don't know. I'm curious what what his next game is we'll that uh, yeah. first of all by far most I, i'm really curious about what this is i hope it's not the last of us three i want it to be something different if it is i won't be too mad yeah. but after three i would like naughty dog to do something, something more. way different. you know like an open world last of us you know where yeah. you like co op with a no, friend i can't like can't can that right, shit I mean, yeah but um yeah no so we'll see uh something to look forward to absolutely you know? Um, what else we got, Captain? I got the DLC for the Final Shape got leaked oh, out. Nope, sorry, I don't care. No, I'm just joking. Mm. No, yeah, you were telling me about it. You just, me, it. You're like, hey. Uh, so apparently, it was leaked on PlayStation, and yeah. I was like, oh, that's cute. Yeah, <laughs> I was just like, good job, Bungie. Leaking uh, shit. A you quote, know, pro- someone made a boo boo. Uh, quote: A small group of players were able to play some of the campaign access collections and other rewards info coming from the vinyl shape. And echoes Bungie said, "Quote: We recommend recommend be very careful on social media over the next few days and avoid spoilers. Remember the ex- uh, to exhaust caution and be critical of potential misinformation. Please consider the." Please consider to others and report leaks to players so they experience the conclusion of uh, the light and fall, uh, light and fall darkness saga of uh, themselves to continue. Thanks to our community members who have already helped us by reporting leaks and those actively working to prevent more experience from being shared before the intended date. So yeah, it got leaked. I was like, oh shit, I need to mm-hmm. mute up. I'll put in the, in the tags on Twitter. Last of not Last of Us, uh, Destiny Two leaks, Destiny Two Final Shape. So I'm trying to go yeah. in spoiler free. Like I don't need this game because I got leaked for Last of Us. I was like, you motherfuckers, bitch. I was pissed about that one. So I'm just yeah. being cautious with this. Like I, I, I it sucks. Mm-hmm. Leaking games fucking sucks. I I, I I fucking get it. They've been working yeah. on this for quite some time. Like any anything that gets leaked fucking sucks from video yeah. game or whatever. So I just wanted to throw it in there. There's not much to say. They kind of uh fixed it. You can't really play it, but for the people that played it, hey, cool. Um yeah. let's see. Then mm. I got this is really this is an interesting one. I thought this said <clears throat> rock star, but this is rock steady. Mm. Uh, Xbox reportedly signs the first game from Rocksteady, co-founder's new studio. Oh, wow. Yeah. What's the game called? I don't know. Um, quote, mm. 100 Star also has listed on the great place to work for website, which reads, 100 Star Games is a video game startup based in East London. Our, our ethos is creating small team of... Uh, of only a hundred industry veterans and immersive t- talents who are committed to craft cutting edge gaming experiences that inspire and captivate players worldwide. There's really nothing that says about what their yeah. game is, but I just find it really interesting that uh, Xbox is co-signing uh, Rockstar, Rockstar's uh, co-founders, uh, Stephen Hill and uh, Jamie Walker. So that's really interesting because mm-hmm. they left Rockstar after Arkham Asylum. And then, um, mm-hmm. And then look at it now. You mean Rocksteady? Excuse me, Rocksteady. Thank you. That's Rockstar. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Yeah, uh, it's all right. 
they sound the same because you yeah, know people I, run out of ideas what, for names. That's why I pulled it up because I thought it was Rockstar. I was like, whoa, that's probably that's crazy. But then I was like, mm-hmm. oh shit, it's Rocksteady. But still interesting yeah. because you would think Warner Brothers parent company would co well sure well, you would think they would co-sign but not really never mind nope never mind they wouldn't do that so nope 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 <laughs> never mind never mind they're co-signing yeah, they know. left they just left yeah never mind um mm-hmm. and last news state of play popped off yes it did now i'll tell you right now no bloodborne guys no bloodborne no no nope. nope, not, not yet it's not gonna happen that we know it's not gonna know. happen i have hope you know i have hope here i am just a gamer Hoping that you get your Bloodborne 2, it's I good. get my Lost Planet 2 remake, you know, as well as Scalebound, you know, it's, Microsoft. it's always going to be it's there. Microsoft. I'm Microsoft. Gonna be, I don't give a shit. Microsoft needs to let go. Anyway, um, you know, and I'm going to I'm going to be an old man. I'm gonna, let me tell you about this game. Billy would never call. We have someone. I, Billy. I'm, I'm giving I'm giving it this. All right. Yeah. If Bloodborne. Mm-hmm. Yep. Isn't shown. Yep. At Summer Game Fest, I'm giving up hope. I'm giving up. I don't know. It's I Summer don't... Game Fest. It's just it's the midway point. They're mainly going to show you games that are already coming out. Nope. New games. No, I don't believe that. Jeff Keeley was like new games. Summer Game Fest. This, this is this is keep in mind. This I don't is know. This your is, name is Jeff. Like this you know, is you the can't... new E3. So th- there's no recycle. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're only in fucking what Q three like we have we don't have no entering q3 yeah we have no summer games or fall games coming out like this is the time like i think it's kind of already determined not really all games come on there's gonna be an assassin's creed you know without a doubt there's gonna be around besides besides those types of games or something else besides those other triple games there's nothing else because that's that's usually the thing it's like around that time those are the games that come out there's like little games in between from like smaller studios and whatnot but those kind of go under the radar because everyone's just like oh you need to try the new call of duty you know um i'm still waiting for a release date for sparking zero like um Huh? I don't know that one. Dragon, Dragon Ball Z. Oh, oh, Dragon Ball Z oh. there was some um, info and I'm, on it. Earlier. I'm very upset about. Uh, so on uh, my phone, it keeps me updated on the news when it comes to that, as well mm. as like some video game news, which is how I found out about the Paper Mario uh, story that they wrote. That are like, oh, it's confirmed that one of the characters is such and such, and I'm like, yeah, that's, that's how many years old? Like, shut up. But um, they were just like, oh, so finally on Xbox, uh, PC and PS5, you can pre-order Sparking Zero. And I was like, oh, I know first thing I'm doing when I get home and I get home and it's not available for pre-order. So I'm just like, this is why I need to be a video game blogger, because I could just spew out bullshit and people click on it. (laughs) You know, confirm Peach has a penis, you know, and then people click on it. I mean, I'll just send him links to like, what is it? Rule 34? Uh, Sony State of Play yeah. showed off some cool <laughs> games that yeah. it was, uh, in your opinion, what, what, what scale one through 10? What'd you, what would you give one this? Through 10? Yeah. What'd you want? One through 10? A six. I'm with you. Six or seven. It was okay. Yeah. Yeah, there was some was cool. Right. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't, I didn't know what they were, I didn't know what they were show off. Like, cause yeah. they, when they announced it, they're like, oh, hey, 14 games. I'm like, oh shit, that's a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, first one, Concord uh 5v5 extraction i was like oh Whoa. i was like you i don't think it's ever been done uh you know eh. it's like you're watching over something you know what i'm saying yeah uh yeah. it seems okay i was immediately like right when they showed said 5v5 i was like i'm mm. out i'm out it, yep. the the characters look cool it just seems like an extraction game um you thought they looked cool it looked all right it looked all right I was just like, this is the robot look cool. Okay. The robot look cool. Yeah, I honestly thought it was like, uh, what is it? This was uh, probably a group of people that got fired from the Overwatch team. Mm. It just started. They're like, well, I'll put my idea in anyway. <laughs> like, you know, like that's what I feel like it was. I was like, all right. Yeah, it's Good a it's you. a five v five shooter. Like that's mm. that's about it. Um, yeah, weapons it's... seem cool. It just seemed. Uh, Sure, Overwatch, I guess, mm-hmm. a little bit, That's but you're, you're extracting. So, again, I'm not big. I'm not trying to sell it short. I'm pretty sure there are some folks that were like, think this game's cool, but I am not yeah. the audience. We aren't really yep. audience for it. So, yep, uh, yep, yep. 
it comes out uh, PC and PS5 August 23rd. Then the next one was, again, I've been saying this forever for the past. This is nothing new. I wish Gibby was here. God of War Ragnarok coming to PC in September. Yeah. So we are September 19th. Again, I give first party games, give it a year or two. And yeah. hey, check this shit out. It's on PC Who knows, now. Maybe so. eventually it'll be like, give it a month or two. Maybe, maybe, maybe eventually. one day, yeah, you know, well, or shit, even a week or two. Fingers crossed. Ooh, that's all pushing it. They want to get those. Know, they want to get those. Make they, more money. They want to get those. Mm, I may part. Yeah, sure. Because here's the thing: like, you give it a year or two, give it a month or two, the internet is just booming with spoilers, and then you're kind of ruining it for the other people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I. Mm. They still, man, Uncharted, uh, God of War. Um, no, of course they're still going to play it. Yeah, Without a doubt, they're still going to play this, it. But the thing is, is like, you know, like, think about it if you're dedicated that you're like, I have to wait. I need to wait. I, and then you just have everyone mm. blowing up like, can't believe what he did. You know, and it's just like, oh, well, okay. I look at <laughs> PC players, like the hardcore ones, mm-hmm. the mass race people that say that. Uh, they, they got don't, enough games to play. They're distracted. That's the thing. <laughs> they like, don't need to worry about they, they don't fucking care. Yeah. And they probably heard it and probably forgot about it and still bought it regardless. Some. So I know some that have great memory. Oh. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess well, I guess what I'm saying is like they, people still buy it regardless and just look at oh, the yeah. sales numbers and X, Y, Z. I'm like, OK, they didn't, that, that that didn't affect them, you know. Yeah. So uh, I thought this was pretty cool. I thought this was 99 nights, too. I was like, oh, shit, they're bringing mm-hmm. it back. But that's Xbox. So I was like, wait, it can't be 99 nights. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dynasty Warriors Origin. I was like, holy yep. shit, that looked fire. That's the game I was talking about where I thought you would like it a lot. Well, yeah, I was uh, very much intrigued by it. And then they're just like, oh, you play as a protagonist that has no correlation in the story. And I'm like, oh, can I make my own character? Is that what's going on? We'll see. But it looks interesting. No, it looks really cool. 2025 that's coming out. Uh, yeah. I was thoroughly excited. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> the first Dynasty Warrior games in the past freaking three f- five decades that i'm really intrigued in <laughs> finally yeah, like it's, so, it's just kind of copy and paste yeah and add literally one character so this one seemed real oh this one seemed oh. uh ladies and ladies and gentlemen we uh, have a we're special about to go through an un- unfriended thing we have Who's a, that person you saw that movie right no no it's a terrible horror movie that revolves around a uh, uh, chat and then someone joins in they don't know who they are they're like who are you and then they all start kind of like unexisting themselves no it's a ghost movie it's really bad oh it has no, to do with I, social I, media i didn't i didn't yeah. see it i didn't see that mm, um don't watch it okay i'm um, going then um we have infinity nikki this game looked pretty cool uh, apparently you, it's the fifth installation <laughs> like, i didn't know that at all i just saw to this anybody who uh plays that game and listens or is this and anyway, please let us know how it is yeah it yeah does, I, my, look, graphically looks beautiful no it, it looked cool it looked cutesy chill mm-hmm. like really chill vibes just doing platformers and stuff like that and mm-hmm. just roaming around the world look and you have a cat with you like you're going yeah. from big to small um riding on the cat's back like it's a cool cutesy game like i was like this yeah. is pretty cool like i'm with I'd this probably play it yeah. i would definitely yeah um yeah but to know it's the fifth installment i'm like damn where has this game been mm-hmm. uh previously described as an open world dress up adventure infinity nikki yeah. will see the tech Tactical character oh. arrive on the continent of Maryland along with her friend Momo. She will travel to various nations with, with uh, each with a different history and culture to explore. In addition, Nikki will encounter a ton of adorable creatures. Oh, oh it did. Uh, who, do, who, who doesn't like that? Nah, cool man. Like, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm vaguely really excited about this. this oh is yeah, gonna be, this is gonna be dope. Um, then we have where the wind meets. Yeah. That one seemed, I thought this was, um, Phantom Zero. That's mm. the game called Phantom Zero. No, no, no. Um, I thought it was that game. I thought we we're going to, they were going to show off that. Cause that's been silent for a very, oh, okay. Yeah. I know Phantom Blade Zero, Phantom Blade Zero, that yeah. game. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, I thought there was this, but it wasn't. This just seemed like no. more of a hack and slash uh mm. game 
I didn't. Wow. Originally announced at GamesCon Open uh, Live 2023, Everstone Studios, a martial arts adventure uh, game where Wind Meets coming to PS5. Set in Ten Kingdoms era, where Wind Meets ha- plays has play, uh, players taking the role of a swordsman who will play critical role influencing the outcome of conflict. Your decisions are key. How events will unfold according to PlayStation uh, blog. That seemed, it seemed okay. Seemed cool. I mean, yeah. it, it, it looked like I had to parry and I was like, no, I'm out. I'm not, I can't, I can't, I can't with these well, games. There's some good games there that, you know, sometimes you got to parry. Mm. Trying to I get, I mean, come on. If Dark Souls, I don't know what would be. No, it's it's like Elden Ring. All right, if Elden Ring two, Bloodborne two came out, and they're like, we added a new dynamic. I'm sorry, my friends. I know some of you like to dodge, but now you can only specifically parry. Would you not play it? I still play it. I still play it. Uh, Bollard yeah. of any uh, Arntia is a highly independent free to play action RPG. Ready next year. This seemed pretty solid. It seemed all right. Oh, it seemed okay um did they show off some vr stuff uh oh yeah some uh sky sky dance behemoth seemed cool i believe they showed it off last playstation blog uh then they showed it just off- it looks like shadow of the colossus with uh first person That's yeah really it. i was just like all right i guess uh then they showed off uh alien rogue uh vr that seemed mildly interesting seemed okay there's nothing that'll ever live up to alien isolation yeah though. that's 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 rough that's rough you know, like it's after that game it's just kind of like maybe you should just stop like because mm. i think alien isolation was just top tier you know came out of nowhere kind of kind of yeah, came out of nowhere it scares the shit out of me still like even though i know it's gonna happen still, still i'm just like yeah terrifying uh, Marvel mm. Rivals is coming to PS5. Closed beta for closed beta set for July. Does this interest yeah. you at all? Oh my goodness! Do I have to tell you? Absolutely not. <laughs> it's okay. Overwatch with Marvel skins. That's it. Like I was just like, oh, I mean, you heard me because I was watching it before we started the pod. I was like, oh, cool, they have Venom. Not gonna get it though. Like that's about it. I don't I could care less. Yeah, I wasn't really fond of it either. I played my time or put my time with Overwatch like crazy. This is cool. This is like a just a version of I think you're a few it's a few years too late. Yeah, honestly, yeah. They mm-hmm. they they missed a window. If this would have came out Overwatch two would have came out with um what's it, that if it came out between the gap of yeah. Overwatch 1 to them rehashing it and just putting a 2 next to it and making it free if uh-huh. it came out between that time I think this would have been okay yeah it's sales would have been perfect this isn't saying that they're gonna do bad no, in sales because, no it's Marvel you know yeah, people uh, are gonna get it also, also like keep in mind even though I, I try to be like very transparent with us and not biased at all, which I think we do a really fantastic job at. Um, this, I'm very biased. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, only time I get, the only time I become biased is when I talk about like Alan Wake or Control. Like I'm, I usually tell. Oh yeah, hands down. Well, those, those yeah. are great games. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, but but this game has been. People are really excited about this game. People have been talking about like nothing but positive things about it that is fucking cool but yeah. as, but how me and you are speaking like we kind of missed that window like we put in our time for overwatch and had fun with it but mm-hmm. I, i'll give and it a, also like overwatch yeah like, uh not exactly spin-offs but like what would it be called mirrors sure mirror uh, like copies copies yeah, yeah. overwatch like yeah because there's like what something called space something mm-hmm and uh on playstation like i played a lot of that mm. and then i was just like oh i just realized i'm just playing overwatch we played we played we played that gundam game the gundam game we got shut yep. down that one we played that that was fire yeah. that was really fire i like that, that was overwatch i guess <laughs> i like that one I, again i always go back what gibby says is uh mm. certain ips you know like we like gundam yeah. we're like oh shit gundam fuck yeah overwatch fuck yeah this is like fucking cool broken as fuck but hey we still like this game so no yeah you're right yeah we still but here's the thing so i feel because it was gundam and it wasn't really like like yeah it was by bandai and everything like that like Mm -hmm. but it was free yes i get the feeling that when it comes to marvel like the name alone like i don't think it's gonna be free um they they never once said because usually when it comes to certain things like that 
during the announcements they go free to play. It never once mentioned that when it came to the Marvel. I I guess I wouldn't say this might be free to play. And looking at how if it's if it's free to play, I will give it a shot. Yeah, same. Because same. it's free to play. Yeah, I'm not gonna if go. If it's not, I'm not dropping money down on it. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. same. Like I sure as much as I speak about marvel snap mm-hmm. it's a card game something different, yeah, that's a, uh, different. Uh, compared to me playing i've had my share of playing 5v5 type games or mm-hmm. hero like games from pc to ps5 and xbox hell mm-hmm. even fucking on on N- N- nintendo's um yeah so i am not a fan of well, he left gibby just left guys i'm it not friend, i told you it's like the movie it's like the movie <laughs> shit it's nah. happening um mm. i'm not really big on competitive shooting also on top of that Same. so so like i mean honestly it doesn't seem like too much shooting was being done from what they showed yes from what Every- they showed yeah i would say everyone had their certain ability spider-man mm-hmm. felt like spider-man um uh, uh, uh um storm was doing storm shit so mm-hmm it did look Which, cool. There was there like a ridicule thing where it looks like she was sparking out lightning. And yeah. Then, uh, what is it? Helena or something like that? Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, I can't remember. Uh, but one of them also looked like they were just shooting thorns at someone. And it's yeah. just like, all right, it kind of does feel like very Overwatch-esque. Mm-hmm, but as not, well as the maps yeah. looked very Overwatch-esque. Where it's just like, yeah, this is just Marvel skins on Overwatch uh, is what it looks like. I, I will say... What was cool because Overwatch doesn't really do this, which stands out is like you have um, um, power ups you can do together. So like Venom, Spider Man, and I forgot who else. Venom, Spider Man, like do, can do like some cool combo shit. Rocket yeah. Raccoon, Star Lord, and Groot can do this three crazy combo together. And there's some other aspects. So I found that really cool. Um, yeah. There's destruction environment that was popping off in there. Like you can Spider Man. I think Storm broke a building, but Spider Man had his uh, gadgets not make the top building fall, and it stood in place, like right there. So I was like, okay, there's some, there's different. It's not necessarily like Overwatch. It's it's it has its it's trying to be its own thing, but play like over Overwatch. Yeah, key, yeah. key elements like Overwatch, <clears throat> but hey, we're gonna add this 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 to different. You'd be different from from them so again f- from afar it does look cool i have really no interest if it's free to play sure i'll check it out if it if it's if it's like 20 bucks or or 40 maybe i'll i'll, I'll pick it up maybe but for the most part uh, it just seemed all right so uh, i was gonna say i would hear gibby's train of thought on this because he's really he he's like really about this game like crazy it's a 6 v 6 Six? That's what I'm yeah, six v six. What did I say? Five? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, no, no. I mean, you're fine. Like that. They didn't necessarily say how many players would go against each other. I would assume because so, well, Overwatch went from six to five, so I assumed Overwatch yeah. was doing that. Well, Marvel Snap was. Excuse me, Marvel Rivals was doing that. Yeah, I'm like just trying to see like if it's free to play. Like I typed it in, and no one has said. Yeah, there's no. Yeah, there's no. Announced. Oh, here we go. Oh. Uh, yeah, free to play PvP game with 19 characters. Okay. All right, so it is free to play. All right, so obviously that means it's a freemium mm. game where it's just like buy the skins and all that other yeah, stuff. Yeah, but yeah. because it's free, I will give it a shot. Yeah, yeah same, same. Um, I, I found this one extremely fucking weird. Um, hmm. I I spoke about this with Gibby in the chat. I think I'm 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 officially tapped out until Dawn gets a new trailer and oh it's gonna come goodness. out and fall. Yeah. yeah, I was. So I, now you can go in third person view, like. Okay. That was the game, wasn't it? <laughs> like, I again, it's me being unbiased. I can separate my. I, that game is phenomenal. But, oh yeah, well, but I but I feel like everyone and their goddamn mother played this game. We were we, we were able. You are able still to play, to play this it. game on the PS5 right now, and it still yeah. ran perfectly fine. I played this. Six I months ago, I have had zero issues with it. The frame rate mm-hmm. was still solid. The story was still solid. No glitches or anything. Per- one would say a perfect release, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I-, I just feel like this is next to the quarry. It's a perfect release. I feel like this is inter- this is interesting and weird. Who was calling for this? I've I've no one I, asked for it. No one. Again, <laughs> until no dawn one. is a phenomenal mm-hmm. game. It is phenomenal. Yeah. Everyone should fucking play this, but. All you even need to do is just bro, make a even, port even, free. Even on the PS4, it still looks good. How yeah. else are you going to 
make it look better. Like this game. Honestly, from what I saw of them game? showing the the video, I'm just like it. It looks the same. Like I don't. Yeah. I don't know what. And they're like, and now you can find new collectibles, and it's like, so you're giving me more shit to do, is what you're saying. Like I don't. Mm, you know, collectibles wasn't really for doing it for me in that game. It was mm. the story itself. Oh, and absolutely. The you made. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I don't care Oops. about collectibles. But um, yeah, I again, no one asked for it. I mean, Dude, yeah, maybe I, there's a small community that do, did ask for it. I I didn't. I'm on Twitter like crazy. <laughs> you know, we <laughs> should make a poll. Who asked for this? Vote yes if you wanted it. You um, know, I'm on the internet a lot, and I I've yeah. had zero inklings. If someone would ask, like, yo, what do you want to see at the state of play? Bloodborne would be on top. Fucking until dawn would be in the goddamn bottom, man. And that's no disrespect, but bro, no, it's just it still it, runs it, like really well. Yeah, I'm not gonna say flawless because everything has its issues, but yeah, true, still, true, true, true. really well. Yeah, so I just and mm. I, I guess at this point, I'm also like kind of tapped out on like remakes. I feel like we're in a remake era, era. Or, or we yeah, definitely we are. are. We definitely are. And I at first I was like, yeah, more remakes, but well, gradually so over time, I I started to realize like, damn, I think we have to separate the two. Because Resident Evil 4, okay. Final Fantasy. Okay. Uh, what else do we got? Paper Mario. Okay. Sort of. Paper R- Mario. RPG? Sorta, kind of. Half and half. No, these are remakes. Okay. Story retold, gameplay's different, everything like that. Okay. Paper Mario, uh, more so they added new stuff as well as took out. They didn't take out anything except dialogue, so I don't think it really counts. Um, but there's a difference between upgrading graphics and adding a few new tidbits and then there's a difference of we're completely redoing the story type of thing okay you know what i'm saying like resident evil 2 3 and 4 i can respect those that's a remake. i, I, yeah, I, I that, can yes i'm not oh man i guess i'm indifferent i'm not mad at that but i am mad at that at the same time i feel like capcom no, 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 yeah. could have put those re- sure resources into fucking dino crisis into the next resident mm-hmm. evil you know stuff like hey, that who knows we don't know that but, again i i mean it's a double-edged sword for me i totally see your valid point like yo those without, are remakes without those These remakes without like this without those remakes we probably would have gotten a fucking max Payne and alan wick 2 um uh yeah max yeah. Payne and um max max Payne one and two remake and those games fucking need it we probably would have gotten a fucking final fantasy 7 remake mm-hmm. you know so yeah. like which makes me like the game more than I did when I was younger because I hated the original. Mm. So it's 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 a double edged sword for me, which I like. I wish they would put the resources into something else instead of remakes. I'm getting something kinda, that needs a remake. Yeah, yeah. Like, and I guess with me is like if you're gonna remake, then just do the PlayStation PlayStation games, PlayStation One games specifically. You know, that really need it. Those are polygons. At, at, at you know? literally they're polygon polygon so do something from, from they do some hush hush ones though yeah I I, yeah, it doesn't need to be all triple a type shit you know i, I yeah. there's a rumor going on that legacy of kang is doing getting a remake which is probably pretty cool so I'm yeah like, oh, i, I enjoyed that game so yeah. yeah see so like there's certain niche games that could that didn't get the recognition that in 2024 2025 sure possibly 2026 could get that recognition now yeah, yeah, you know so yeah. but uh, i i 100 agree with you dino crisis but we are in the age of remakes yeah so when it comes to until dawn that's not a remake no the that's game, an i feel that's an upgrade that's it that's yeah, what that is. yeah yeah um that, that was the only thing that i'm just like i think we should kind of separate mm-hmm. what remake is you know, because okay, there, I see there what is you're a definitely yes. a, certainly a difference. You yes. Know? Um, yeah. Path of Exile is dropping. This would I didn't think this was going to have a spot because Path of Exile is such a fucking. I think I'm thinking of just PC shit, uh, but I forgot this did this game did drop on the PS5 at one point. In this. Oh, it's the one that looks like Diablo. Yeah, 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 yeah. The better version yeah. of Diablo, how people put yeah. it, the way better version of Diablo. There you go. So we'll. we'll uh, it, it it looked cool. I, I was mildly intrigued about it. Um, I keep and it was it was pretty cool that I saw that uh, basically you could do like local play with it if you want and couch co op play. Gibby's if for video version, Gibby's just staring at us really yeah, weird. Yeah, I don't know if he knows he's muted. Yeah, yeah. Y- you know you're muted. There you yeah. go. Hey, he's just hey, staring at us. Enough. He's yeah, it's a little and creepy. now he's just okay. okay, and he's just nope. Now he's All back. Right. All right. All right, guys, just showing you uh, what the hell just happened. Mm-hmm. We are attempting to uh, 
build this uh, tent for my son's birthday. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. And the wind kicked our asses, as you can oh, tell. Yeah. <laughs> Watch the video version. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to clip this. this. <laughs> I think what I find funny is that looks like my cousin, Chris. <laughs> oh, really? Shout out. Who's that? Who's that? Your brother? That's my brother. Shout out, Brian. Join us oh. out of the fiber. Hey, what's up, man? You look like we my cousin. Have, this is, we've been fighting for the last... I don't know, man. After it flew off the fourth time, we were like, yo, we're done. We're done with this shit. Look at this. In the video version, you can see. You get live broadcast. We had to fucking rip out the fucking electrical tape to try to fix some of these bent things that fucking took off. Yo. Oh, yeah. It was wild. Wait. You should have gotten, like, wait, three little pipes. Why? Yeah. Well, wait. What? Is the wind blowing, like, hardcore? It came out of nowhere. Like, it literally, we started off, it was like, we were building everything. It was just fine. The moment that we went to go put the tarp on, <laughs> freaking, like, typhoon wind started coming out of nowhere. And then at first, we we're like, oh, the wind is just, it's just these gusts. We'll, we'll be just fine. We're going to go ahead. We're going to, you know, weigh everything down. And, everything down. and then all of a sudden, my daughter came outside and she goes, deal. Look what's going on. I sent you a video, by the way. So you can see, I cut out my, my security camera. It initially, it's attempted to take off. I'll try to add that. And, uh, and then we were like, all right, let's weigh it down in this air, certain area. Or let's try to weigh that section. And then look, now the wind is blowing. Like, I can't even, like, no matter what he's doing, he's finding that wind. See? So we were just like, yo, fuck this. Let's just fucking tear this shit apart and throw it away. <laughs> well, so, thanks, for, thanks, thanks for the update. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I didn't mean to crash it as I did, but yeah, look, no, like, you, this is, you're good, you're good. This is you're ridiculous. Hey, bro, hey, real quick, uh, while I have you here, what what are your thoughts on the uh, Marvel Snap? Marvel Snap? What about I, I, I mean, Marvel Rivals. What is it called? Rivals. Rivals. Yeah, rivals. Rivals. Yeah, rivals. Rivals? yeah. yeah. Uh, kind of what you guys said. Yeah, they're a little bit too late on it. Uh, I'm still interested to play just with friends to see how fun the game actually is. It's, it's free to like, play, so yeah. Yeah, so saying just to, just to have everybody jump on it to play, just have fun. It's, I don't think it's something that would be taken very seriously, like uh, like let's say like a I don't know, I don't, don't want to say COD is serious, but more like in that sense, where yeah. people can kind of get very hyper COD. This may be a game where like you just want to casually play with some buddies, like you know you got a couple friends that you haven't played online, like yo yo, let's just jump on this year real quick, you know, fuck around, have some fun, but. Mm -hmm. That's my, my take on it. Okay. And, and and one more take before you leave. What is your take on uh, uh, God of War Ragnarok coming to PC September? Oh, I'm excited for that. I don't give a shit about the whole sign-in. Like, I used to have a fucking PlayStation. <laughs> like, what the fuck? You know you know what pisses me off about the play, uh, the fucking uh, the gaming community about this shit? Is there lazy? It's like, if you if you if you already own a PC, you already have a fucking Steam account, a fucking Epic account, maybe a Ubisoft account, maybe an Origin account. What the fuck is another PlayStation account? Like, we, we already have to fucking have all the other ones already. Like, I, uh, we we talked about this last pod when you were here. Uh, it's I I I I see the argument towards that but at the same time most people have burner accounts regardless so i don't see what the big issue is just as well yeah. so it's it's just weird people are are complaining about something so small just to have that mm -hmm. email or that burner correct, correct, email you correct. know so it's just it's just weird i see I, I see what they're trying to chant for it but at the end of the day like yo everyone has a burner account like like mm -hmm. and, and what you just said that's a perfect example everyone has an epic steam ubisoft ea uh, uh xbox like what's what's the difference what's another one you know, what's another what's one another, what's another? and mm -hmm. at the same time it's it's if, if you're just if you're that mass big and master pc race like all right i and don't have any other burner accounts like all right fuck it let me just do this playstation account so i can just play uh, God well, and a lot here. of it too is it could be done it could be done very simple simplistic like right now if you play any origin games on steam you just open up a launcher and then it automatically just logs you into the without having to download origin i, th I think that's how it works i think so, so too I think. um i mean it's doable it's possible yeah, yeah, yeah for sure okay but th so. those those were the only two oh one more one more one more what are your thoughts yeah. on neil direct uh dirkman saying he's gonna change the gaming community sunflower. whoa sunflower my daughter sunflower whoa that bitch is as tall as me dang but, um say it again neil brickman doing what i lost the 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 
Neil Druckmann. I heard Neil Brickman. Says Naughty Dog title could redefine mainstream perceptions of gaming. Um, I don't know. To be honest with you, everything that's been going on with the studios and the publishers as of late, like, I think cross promises. Yeah, I'm I'm, like, I can't. at this point in there, like, yo, you guys are doing way too many crazy changes, or you guys are doing too many radical things, closing off, you know, this, closing off that, shutting this shit down, shutting this project down. Oh, we're going to be opening up this one. It's like, yo, make up your fucking mind already. Like, it's it's just more frustrating that they're not uh, as upfront. As, I don't want to say how they used to be, but they're not really upfront at all. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Those were the mm-hmm. three headline stories I wanted to, to get from you. Get your, get your thoughts on. Yeah. I feel you. I feel you. My bad. I haven't been on my computer. Like I said, this fucking tent has been kicking my ass. So no, no, no. Hey, uh, better, better it happened today than when you needed it to be up. You know. If it was tomorrow during his birthday party, <laughs> I'll be fucking. Yeah. 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 All the yeah. fucking you been, everybody. You have been, yeah. yeah. been really mad. Mm-hmm. You have been not correct, a happy correct. dad. Yeah. Correct. But yep, yep. But I just wanted to crash in real quick. Let me help my brother clean this shit up. I kind of left him alone. All right. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Do you think, man? Give you guys the update. So yeah. I'll meet you guys up later. All right. Yeah, definitely. Take it easy. All right. Take it. See ya. Well, there you have it, folks. Gibby came Ooh. through. Has promised. Live news report. Live, yeah. live news report. I really want to be like, I really want to be like, are the winds that strong out there, <laughs> Gibby? Gibby, come in. <laughs> we're losing you. Day. You're breaking yeah, yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me see where we're at. We now go to you live. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, uh, Path of Exile coming uh, early yeah. 2024. Are you excited about this game? Did you? Do you um, do you... I, don't, I don't really know much about it. It definitely okay. does seem intriguing. Like I won't deny that. Like I might, I might check it out. People are saying so what PC? Nah, PS5. It's on PC, PS5. People are saying this is the. I'm down. I was just saying wanna, this, wanna this, this is together? the. This is the what Diablo should have been, right? Pretty much. Yeah, I'm definitely going to check it out I heard I severely and still am disappointed I heard it got better for some reason There you go uh, Silent Oops. Hill Oh, wow <laughs> I'm sorry, me, I'm still just like I look at it and I'm just like Okay Why? What's what's what makes You'll this... never be PT Okay I know I'm never going to get that game But I look at every Silent Hill as trash now Because of I played Silent Hill games. Yeah, whatever. I was young. I was a kid. I got scared of shit. But the fact that after a while, when it came to the Silent Hill games, I was like, yeah, all right. I already know what's going to happen. You know, whatever. And by the explanation that I heard someone giving, it's just like, oh, well, and behold, what do you come across? Another nurse. And I'm just like, wow, that sounds like a riveting game. I'm not getting it. And yeah, I don't know. PT scared the shit out of me. Why are people being so mad? Because people don't like this. Uh, the studio. Like people, are people mm, being mad? People are having false hope with this game for some reason. Oh yeah. Like I, why? Like it looks. From my point of view, it looks. No, no, it looks good. Yeah, it looks cool. So like, what? Like, I'm just because trying to understand. What's the know. the hate or the disapprove the disapprovement improvement? Pro- for this game, you know? I'm not sure. I mean, honestly, for me, I was always more of a fan of Resident Evil than I was Silent Hill. Okay. You know, that's that's one thing for me. But it also just, like, like looking at it and whatnot, I'm like... So, the way it kind of was, was it felt like they were kind of rivaling each other. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, And when this all started, like, you know, the remakes of Resident Evil was probably when the remakes of Silent Hill should have been coming out. You know what I'm saying? But that's my perspective of it. But it's also at the same time, like, I just, I don't know. Like, I never once thought, like, um, it was, yeah, I'm going to keep going back to it. I'm going to sound like a broken record. But PT was just like, all right, I want to get back into Silent Hill. Like, that seems great. But specifically, that game. No other Silent Hill, because I played all of them. And I'm just like, okay, I don't really care to play them ever again. I finished it. I did what I had to do. I got the Shiba dog ending. Like, I'm good. But I don't know when it came to Resident Evil. I'm just like, oh, got to jump on it. So excited for this. Let's go. Okay. And, you know, that's why, like, there's so many of those Resident Evils that I want them to remake, redo, like, five. Come on. I want to punch boulders. Like, who does way it? better graphics. Oh, yeah. yeah. Six. Yes. I want to play it. Though I do agree. It should have been scarier. Should have been way scarier. They took out that element. And it, at that point, it was just a co-op game. Keep the co-op, please. 
please. Anyway, um, an outbreak, of course, outbreak. But when it comes to Silent Hill, I not once think about like, well, I really want this one to be remade. No, I don't. I don't care. It's just Silent Hill with Silent Hill. I could play the polygon form and it'll be like playing in high definition either way because it's still just for me anticlimactic. Mm -hmm. Like the story just always felt stupid. I mean, don't get me wrong, Resident Evil has its stupid moments with its story, you know, but at least you can laugh about it. With Silent Hill, it's just like, oh God. <laughs> like, here we go again. This person's in there now. Gotta go rescue him. What's the ending? Uh-oh, the same as last one. Except for the Sheba dog. Love that ending. Anyway. Okay. Uh, no, I was, I was yeah. wondering. I'm just trying to figure out the, the, the just people not approving this game. Uh, that's about it. Uh, so. No, no, that's that's my opinion. Uh, I don't know why they because I never, I never, it. I never played any Silent Hill. Like they're, I hear they're fun. They're cool. They're cool ass games. And I was like, oh snap, a remake. But people are like, oh god. Again, it's it's behind the what's the publisher blooper it's blooper 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 team. People are like are wary of them. They're like, oh, they're trash. So I'm like, I mean, I don't know anything they've done before. So, I you think know. they did. I'm giving my opinion just on Silent Hill. I don't know the uh -huh. studio at all. Oh, uh oh, what's that all about? Blair Witch, Layers of Fear, uh, Observe System, Redux, and The Medium. Like, that's why people are like, blooper team. Like, oh, shit. It's not going to be that great. So, mm. yeah. Moving on to Monster Hunter Wild. Yeah. What do you think about this? You're the Monster Hunter expert. Please uh, give it I'm to not me. An expert. You're the I expert. Play it. You love you know, that game. You love that game. I, I do the like series. Monster Hunter. Yeah, the series. I do like. What's your thoughts? Give it to me. I'm still excited for it, but I'm still waiting to hear one thing. If it's crossplay. They were trash with that. I remember that. Yeah. I remember that. They at Capcom. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're not great with crossplay. No, they're not. And that's all I want is just crossplay because it's a cooperative game. Like I understand that there's the whole things it's just like when you're playing a PvP game, it's like, oh you never want to get onto the PC servers, they're assholes. And it's just like, no, they just have better maneuvering. That's about like, it, really. They're not assholes. You can, you can do it. It's good. it's gonna just out you, you gotta try harder. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've played in the, what's it called, the PC servers on Destiny whenever Iron Banner was, you know, Woo! useful. Woo! Um, but, uh, yeah, the whole thing is just, like, I want crossplay for that because, like, I have friends that they're just like, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to wait till it drops on PC or I can't wait for it to come out on PC because it's going to look better. And I'm to the point that, well, I need to find this out because this is what's going to determine whether what I'm pre-ordering it on. You know, that's all I care about. Like, I don't want to watch too much because then I'm spoiling it for myself. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes when they show trailers, they can reveal a lot. Oh, yeah. And it's just like, that's why uh, when I was doing the state of play before we started the pod, when it came to Monster Hunter, I was just listening to it. I wasn't even looking oh, at shit. it. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. And then they started talking about the monsters and whatnot, like of the ones that they showed. And I was just like, all right, I'm going to just go make my coffee now, you know, and just go far off over there out of where the thing's playing because I didn't want to hear it because that takes the excitement out of it. True. Which yeah. I get like, you know, you want to show people what they're investing in, you know, what to look forward to. But for me, that's a spoiler. Like, I want to be surprised about how the monster looks, its attack style, everything like that. Because that's what keeps it all exciting. <laughs> I think I did that with, uh, or I know I did that with uh, Alan Wake. Any, Alan Wake oh, 2 yeah. specifically, like anything they dropped, I was like, I am there. I, oh, I yeah. just, I guess Alan Wake is a different type of game where I, I need. With Alan Wake, I didn't, like granted, I didn't play, um, I didn't play part two that much. Mm -hmm. And it's just one of those things that I have to go all the way back to part one to play it and then play the in-betweens like control and, you know, et cetera. I have to do the whole thing if I'm going to play part two. But the thing was, anytime it came to a trailer and like when we were talking about like trailers that are coming out and everything like that, anytime even like before I had because, yeah, I do YouTube premium now I need um, to do before that. I had. Huh? I need to do that. Yeah, yeah, it's not that bad. I, I need mean, to do that. You can watch that. most stuff on there. That's why I got rid of Max because. Damn. Yeah. Uh, but anyway. 
Uh, anytime, like even a trailer popped up of Alan Wake and I had to wait and it's like 30 seconds remaining, remaining till you could skip the ad and whatnot, I would walk out the room. Like, I'm like, I don't want any spoilers for this. Bryce is hyped about it. So there's gotta be a reason why he's hyped about it. And like I said, I watched an hour of the gameplay and I'm like, this is remarkable, ge- like a remarkable game. And I'm like, I'm gonna leave it at that. I have to play it myself. But Whenever it comes to certain games, it deserves that respect of don't spoil anything. Yeah, like, yeah. just tell me it's coming out. Uh, like, tell me it's the same studio, same writers, same everything. And just tell me and don't create a trailer. I don't need a trailer. Yeah, I think I did it with I uh, the, yeah. the last expansion for Destiny. I was like, you know what? I'm good. I'm sold. I don't need to watch anything. That was a big mistake. But, <laughs> uh, but for this one for for the final shape i'm watching literally everything i don't want to be spoiled but, my, but i'm like you need to fucking move me back but i'm trying to think of like other video game trailers that did that uh but i know i did it for alan Wake for sure because i was like i need to i don't care if i'm really spoiling it i need to know everything i need to know watch every gameplay like i was thoroughly 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 excited for alan wake so um, you know the only other one that i ever avoided anything which i mean it's not really a mainstream game but it's a jrpg turn-based uh, Trials of Cold Steel. Mm. I played one, mm. two, three, and then my friend told me part four was coming out. And I was like, really? Yep. And then like one day on, like, I think, it, yeah, I was just watching YouTube. They started playing a trailer. And I, uh, nope. Mm-mm. What no, if, no. What if huh? I told you? What? They what have a I... mobile game? Yeah, I played it. It's shit. I gotcha. It's not. Yeah, I know. I played it. It's shit. Really? Yeah, uh, I signed. I did the pre-register thing. Uh huh. You know, uh, didn't get anything that was promised, which is fun. You know, um, and then on top of that, most of their stuff doesn't load at all, mm. and the game continuously crashes. And see, this would be an issue if I still had my old phone. My old phone was like what back from, I want to say twenty eighteen, mm-hmm. if not older, and. You know, since that screen cracked, I was like, hey, instead of repairing the screen, let me just get a new phone now. So I have like an up to date phone and 5G sucks, by the way, like terrible, but it kept crashing and I'm just like, what What the hell is going on? And then I'm like reading the comments in the in the Play Store and they're all like, yeah, the game keeps crashing. This won't load at all. It just kind of freezes up like, you know, what is this game and everything like that? And then someone came upon it that the person that is ranked first in uh, what's it called in like a few different servers is actually one of the game developers. And I'm just like, oh, no, that doesn't. Uh, uh-uh. You can't be doing that. <laughs> you have access to everything. Yeah. Of course, you're going to be in first. Like, I get it. Little. Unless it's unless it's, it's not a development yeah. uh, account. If it's his personal account, then I understand. But if it's a developer developer account, then like, it's yeah, a developer we, account. Uh, then never mind. Then yeah, it's like no, like what do you do? But no, I don't know. I tried it, and I was just like, I'm good. This is nothing like the game. The game is severely better, you know. And they have like spinoffs and whatnot, and things like that. That yeah. But I still haven't played part four, which sucks. Yeah, I'm... I haven't played part four. I'll tell you why. PS4 died. Lost all my save data. Damn. It wasn't, this was before cloud storage was a thing. Yeah. So I have to start all the way from the beginning, but it's great because there are certain choices you can make that actually progress into the sequel. So one through three is like that. And I'm quite sure four is going to be like that. The last one sort of news is, is pretty cool. I should play this game again, but, uh, Mm. Astrobot, uh, is coming out. Um, Astro Bot 2 yeah uh, la- it launched for the PS5 it was a really cool game people really like this game a lot um, kind of time trial ish very platformy QT fun like Ratchet and Clank the good old days one and the new one too um, it's cool it's cool September 6th oh. yeah, yeah Astro Bot yeah it's a cool that, didn't that come free with um... yeah it came, it's, it's free right now on your PS5 guys 
Uh, yeah, but, the, when I, the PS5 first came out, yeah. that one came out. Pretty, was, right? Yeah, I played that a lot. It was it, super cute. Yeah, yeah, it, was it was fun. A, it was a fun and game. the little tidbits, yep. like finding mm-hmm. the little island where they had like the monster hunter yep. shit going on. I was like, what? Yeah, so uh, number two is coming out uh, September sixth. Nice. So so be on the lookout for that. Uh, He's really. Really, yeah, that'd be cool. If not, I, I'll I'll throw in some money because again, that's just no, well it's, established. It's, it studio. was a fun game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I really enjoyed that. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I definitely look forward to that because mm. I was like Astrobot too. Why does that sound familiar? But yeah, you know, really enjoyed that game. It was, was delightful. Very much delightful. Sometimes you just need a delightful game. Like oh, you yeah. don't have to go in hard. You just go like, oh, okay. And that's the that's the news, folks. That's wow. that's the show. That's the news. That's the we games. We did it. Yeah, we did it. Um, shout out to Gibby for stopping by as per usual, giving us a live news report. Live yeah, news report. That's, that's, I know, I know everyone was was worried and scared. Yep, everyone was on the edge of their seat when he was talking about Where strong is, winds. It was just well, like, what's going on? And we live in Florida, so I don't know what he's talking what he's talking about. <laughs> You're like so, looking outside, got I'm the like, wind chimes, and it's like, it's not like I, 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 I think I have, I think I have the like weather report on the bottom left of my computer, and just says like, hey. I think it did say strong winds actually, so I could be fucking mm. lying right now. So, yeah, yeah. You just wanted him to fail. Huh? No, not even. I wanted him to succeed. <laughs> no, 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 man. I know, I know. The fuck? Yeah, I know. I'm just being an idiot. Oh but, man. Yeah, that's the news. That's the news. That's the show. That's it. I don't yeah. got. I don't got hey, any. I just realized. Very minimal ranting this one. I know. So let's get into no, just I'm joking. No, no, there's nothing really to rant about. No, like, not really. You know, games presented, everything like that. Don't know why until dawn. Don't know why Silent Hill. That's it. That's really it. And you know, we'll see with everything else. Mm. Next week it. is Destiny Week, so yep, I'll be doing some shit with that. So be on the lookout for a lot of Destiny stuff. When are you streaming? I'm going to do Thursday, and I'm off Friday, and I don't go back until Wednesday. Well, for me, it all depends on what dogs are coming mm. to, you know. Because um, I'm not playing you, it. I'm not playing it release day, because I know the servers are going to be fucked. So I rather, Yeah, I rather servers are going to be always, fucked. They're kind of going to be fucked the second day, too. Mm-hmm. Third day, Wednesday, which is... Wednesday seems a good spot, but I'm going to be working, so I took off Same. Friday, so Friday I'll be... Oh, there you go. Well, well I'll thir- find Thursday out. night, or yeah. whatever. Because if that's the case, I guess I could join you Thursday. Yeah. Because you made a valid point. I got to finish the story. Got to finish the story. I'm going to want to finish the story. Mm-hmm. That is how I am. And it's true. I don't agree with that price. It's 50 at all. bucks. I don't agree with that. It's 50. No. They went, up, they, they went up 10 more. I don't care. It used to be 40. It used, it used to be 40. Now yeah. I went up 50. Like, right, yeah, cool. I'd, always buy the, I'd always buy the deluxe. Yeah, so deluxe would be yeah. still like 100 bucks regardless. Yeah, but I think so like this is down. this is that's my opinion that they should bring I, it down. Put it like this. I didn't buy. I usually buy the, the hundred bucks one. I didn't do it this yeah. year. Finally. So I'm yeah. like, oh, you no, I'm good. I'm good. So we'll see what I'll do. Yeah. But just buy the the 50. Go maybe. From there. I don't I don't know. Maybe we'll see. I know I can whatever they give. You can actually get in game. It's just early access to it. There's no no early access. It's just cosmetic. isn't there a gun they give you? Uh, if that's if you pre order the top tier, don't do the top tier. You're gonna get it regardless. Like if you yeah, exactly. if you would have pre ordered in the beginning, you would have got that. I forgot what gun it was. Like hey, yeah, which here. is kind of stupid. Like because what was it for? Lightfall is the quick silver gun. I and then, like, think I did that one. <laughs> I, did, no, I did too. Which it was a it was a great gun, but fantastic. the thing was it wasn't until like I think you finish the campaign and you do a bunch of the stupid side missions that they give you afterwards where it's like closing up and doing everything you got to do. And then you finally got the catalyst oh. for it and start working. So it's kind of like, yeah, you might as well hold off getting the gun because there's no point. You know, you're gonna, still going to have to wait for the cat. It'd be a different story if it's like, oh, as soon as the DLC drops, you get the catalyst and you're like in the gun by then. But they don't do that. You know, they're like, oh, no, you got to wait. But... Yeah, so I'll probably just do regular tier. I don't care about emotes, cosmetics, or at that no. point, silver. I'm good. Just do, just do the fifty. That's it. Keep yeah. it, keep it pushing. You'll so, be, you'll be okay. 
You'll be okay. Yeah. Trust me. Trust yeah, me. I mean, You'll what be else okay. do I have to spend money on, you know? <sighs> Marvel rival. No, <laughs> Marvel snap. Oh, no, never. No, I can't. I can't do it. I you can't do be it. A- oh. They don't have good. They don't have a good game. I want real quick. What I want is for Game Boy Advance, they had a Yu-Gi-Oh game, which was like you go to different parts of the map. You do the whole uh, dual city thing. Battle city. There you go. And it was fun. Like you could just duel anybody. You would just press another button. I want like a way updated form of that. Give me like 3D graphics. You know, give me that. You know, the whole epicness where you see the character like take life point damage and go, ah, you know, I give me that. Like, <laughs> that's the Yu Gi Oh game I want, not Master Duel. Screw Master Duel. I don't want to wait 20 minutes for my turn. Anyway, that's crazy. I, I, there that's, you go. That's There's crazy. my rant. There's my rant. But I will be joining you on the Destiny streamings, you know, taking part in that. Maybe some point this week before then. I will download it and try Onslaught with you as well as start clearing up my vault for whatever new bullshit they're going to give me, you know, but uh, honestly, it's all going to be based on the campaign. It's like if the campaign becomes utter shit and it is a big letdown, I don't care about the extras or the side missions or the grind. I'm done. Like, I don't care if uh, what is it? Destiny, what what was the sequel called? I'm sorry we fucked up. Nightfall? No, 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 no. The sequel. The 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 next installment to Destiny, what they call it. Destiny Revenge or something like that. Oh, uh th- I think it was yeah, Destiny Revenge, something. Yeah, 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 the yeah. Destiny, I'm sorry we fucked up. Uh you know, I don't care if that's like another expansion, an update, or a brand new game. I am completely checked out if this campaign fails to like live up to whatever hype that they're trying to do to this build up that we've waited so long for. Cause this is, this is it. This is chapter one. Yeah. This is it. As of the saga, said. the light and dark saga. Yeah. This is it. Wrapping chapter into- one. Yeah. You're wrapping up the first chapter From- as you said. And if you fail to execute it perfectly at this point, because so far them seasons in between have been shit. Yeah. I get, I've given up on the seasons for a while. Yeah, the seasons are just stupid. Um, and you know, maybe the episodic things will be good. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, but I'm feeling like it's going to be the same thing like the seasons anyway. It's we'll, just going to we'll be see. split uh, up. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, but um, that's it. That's all. I, all I can say. This is this is the last time for Destiny for me. Where I mean, I wish I could ask for a refund, but I can't get it. Can't get all that money. No <laughs> can't yeah, get no. this. Your time has expired. Uh, like yeah, that. it's uh, well, I mean, with the DLC, like if we grind, I could be finished with that in like what a day, maybe less. You know, what's crazy. Also, mm-hmm. I don't know if you know this. We probably have been following. You know how the raid is always like two weeks from now? Yeah, it's Friday. They're dropping it. day one. Yeah, oh. I was like, whoa, that's crazy. That kind of makes you feel like that the story is going to be super short. If how that's the case. how I um how um um I was watching Asta Cross. Uh, how he put it was that it's gonna the new prismatic is gonna take some time to learn. To how he talked about the the new ability, it's really fucking dope, but it's kind of convoluted at the same time. So no, has it's he a, experienced a, the new ability? Yeah, he, he, he him and uh, Dota got to play it early, so they were talking about oh, it. So okay. they were like, "Oh, it's it's pretty fire. It's pretty cool." Both of them, both of them said it's a it's it's a learning curve for yeah, well, newer players and and somewhat veterans a little bit, a little bit. Mm. So that's if Destiny, how he put it, he said if 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 they would have waited those two weeks we would have mastered that build and just fucking breeze through the goddamn raid like nothing. So yeah. for them to really say early is how he put it was kind of smart. I was like, okay, that, that does make sense. Again, how both Dutta and, and Astro talked about it, I was like, okay, that does make sense how they're dropping in early. Because again, that price medic is like a crazy fucking build of what you can do is fucking wild. Yeah. So th- your perks and, and how you can... Um, customize. Customize it. It's That's broken. Mm-hmm. That's broken. That's broken shit. So... Yeah, like, but it's, like fuck it's, it here it is like i don't early. know Bungie, i'm kind of just looking at it yeah but how long until it's nerfed 
Uh, I don't really follow the nerfs. You you follow the nerfs more than anything than me. I just play and just because have I usually re- read the hot fixes and everything like that, and they nerf just about everything. And my whole thing is just like, when it comes to that, simply one thing: nerf it for PvP. Because you know you get the people that are diehards for PvP, and then they complain about everything, and they start nerfing everything. And I get. You might not want the bosses to be killed so easily. Yeah. But here's the thing. You're making them not only have fun with strangers, but with friends as well. And sometimes you just do want to do some off the wall shit. Some crazy that is shit. Ridiculous. Yeah. And you're having fun. Like that time where was it? Deepstone Crypt? You were able to go in with so many people because of that weird latency issue. I think so, yeah. Yeah. And then Bungie was like, hey, do it up, have fun. You know, we want you guys to have fun. But just know it is going to be fixed, but have fun for now. Like, yeah. we're not going to, you know. And that was the joy of it. It was just like, we get to have fun. So stop nerfing for the campaign and braids and everything like that. No, because the whole point behind that is like, granted, you have the diehards that are like, I need to find every single secret in every chest. And then you have the ones that just want to do dumb shit where they start going for the raid boss with a sword. Yeah. You know, and you're just like, no, no, Greg, don't do that. But somehow Greg pulls it off and you're like, good shit, Greg. That was, that's that's crazy. I don't know how the that. fuck you did it, but you know? God damn, you did it, bro. Exactly. And, but that's part of it. Like what you're doing is you're limiting the fun people can have. And it's like, I understand there are certain different d- dynamics. I don't know what's happening with Gambit. I don't know at all. I don't know. I don't know. What I just, I, I, I hovered over <laughs> it yesterday and when you and pl- you're like no it's too soon no i was gonna play i was gonna play it but i was like it was yeah. it was late but uh they they drop they drop of uh, exotics now i'm like oh shit cool i mean didn't they always no drop exotics? they never dropped exotic like when you i thought when, it was like a chance no never never mm-hmm. this is like 100 percent. here is an exotic mm-hmm. drop for you so like oh shit that's, oh okay okay like yeah, guaranteed guarantee gotcha, i gotcha, guarantee because okay. no one's playing gambit so like hey guys yeah. play <laughs> playing gambit gotcha gotcha it's but no gonna, yeah I, separate I, separate the nerfs yeah that's it you know no, that, there's some a, guns that are broken in campaign but if you notice in pvp they are no, you're, yeah it's really weird because again that's destiny it. is a pvp pve game so like they're mm-hmm. gonna cater to them more than the fucking uh, there, it has to be numbers. It has to it, be numbers. Honestly, for me, it feels like they cater to the PvP aspect more than they Fuck do. Fuck no! Absolutely. Really? Because all the nerfs that take that. effect in PvP, it was only till what was it? Last expansion that they started saying, "Hey, so for PvP, this is going to be nerfed this much, but PvE, we're changing the dynamic. It's not going to be nerfed as much, but it's still going to be nerfed." Uh, so I can't say. Yeah. I, I guess I'm looking at it as a whole. Um, uh, I can't say shit because I really don't follow the nerfs and stuff like that. So I don't really, I don't really know. I mean, it would show up about like, oh, a new update because for some reason the mobile app has to update as well as the game does, which makes no sense to me. Sure. Like the mobile I didn't app, even know you're that. just exchanging. Yeah, I didn't even it's know really that. stupid. I didn't even know it's that. It's really stupid. Like okay. it, it, it'd be different. It'd be like one of those. And I think there was a game like that where it's just like you can do stuff in the mobile app to earn rewards for the game itself. Mm-hmm. As long as they were linked together, I can't remember which game it was. I have no, I have like no that. idea. Shit, I'll look that up one day. But I'm gonna leave it at that because you know, yeah, pod's done. Pod's done, man. Rant. That's that's, that's a not rant. A, I don't think I don't think that was a rant. I think that's you know, again, I want them to succeed. You know, that was a rant. Yeah, it's, the, the it's, an, it's, it's a end rant. of it's the end of the show rant. So. And and rant. you could have stayed if you did. I appreciate you. No, my hate is not towards you. It's towards Bungie. You know, but you lovely people, you know, go out there, play video games, enjoy life. You know, what what else is he say? It's, it's been so long since he's been on the pod. I don't even remember. Um, play some games. Yeah. Play some Destiny. Play. Uh, immortal 33 if you have the beta code play paper yeah. mario in a thousand doors year door year door thousand. yeah it looks like a penis play some weathering waves there's some good games coming mm. out destiny's play coming the out diver Dave if you just the need a diver, relaxing game a chill mellow game play that video games mm. are coming video games are coming man um yeah. and i'll definitely be on some destiny type shit next mm. week so it won't be a stream probably month won't be a stream until like thursday night yeah. night ish or so and then friday morning just what time you thinking i don't know i don't know maybe like seven 
eight. We'll see. Okay. I get I get one home like around six, so I can like six? make dinner. I can wait. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm mean, I'm not in a rush. It is I, people could be raiding, so it is what it is. Like yo, I'm just here for the well, story. Well, that's Friday. We're starting Thursday. Like we're yeah. gonna do uh, heroic, whatever, legendary, legendary, legendary. Let's do legendary. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, what are you gonna rock? Hunter, of course. Duh. All right, Titan for me. Let's go, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so be on the lookout for that on Thursday. Yeah. I'll probably yeah, we're gonna double stream. create a thumbnail or upcoming for it so everyone knows to be to be participation. Mine is not gonna be tasteful at all. <laughs> you try. You have you no, have no, time to make I, one. You have time no, to make no. one. I mean, I'm gonna make it shit kind of like, oh, so here we are. <laughs> you know? Have, that mm, kind of thing. Wow. And who knows? Maybe it'll change. Maybe, maybe they'll impress me. Which is I'm not honestly. I'm hoping for that they do. I'm hoping they impress me. But aside from that, just doing it for Cade and just doing it for you. There you go. You. Do you're it for there. Cade. Yeah. Do it for Cade. Well, for me, you're over there. But you're over here. You know? So, yeah. Anyway, right. mm -hmm. play some games. We out. Until mm -hmm. then, peace out, cocksuckers. Mm -hmm.